many times yeah, have I went you, live, we and I don't know if I do it or not. Here, <laughs> okay. Have, I thought we were yeah, about to take a screenshot. The chat is going. All right. We are <laughs> hey, a go. Okay. Well, I've done this a thousand times, and I don't even know what I'm doing. I just literally push buttons on my thing. Like, I know to go to the live section, but then I just push buttons, and I don't ever know if I'm going to make it here or not. <laughs> Apparently, I made it here. I thought we were about to take a screenshot. What are y'all doing? So, I was going to do a different video. How did I get to my comments? I forgot. It, it popped one up. I, I was going to do a different video, post a oh, different video is. up. Hola. Uh, I was going to do a... I want to see all of them. All, mess all messages. All messages are visible. Um, I was going to do a different video. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. hey, Michelle. Um, but then I was like, you know, I haven't done a live in a while. And I try to do one at least once a month. And because this one usually only has time to do one with me once a month. And if I'm on here by myself, Sorry. then the train will get like derailed. Like I'll be everywhere. We'll have ten full hats on and we'll be doing all the things. So he kind of reels me back in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Not today. So I try to wait till he can do one with me so that we don't go. Because remember, if y'all have been here for a while, you know what my first like lives were like before I started saving them. <laughs> <laughs> they were wild. <laughs> They're still wild, but wilder than they are now. So I was going to do a different video, but then I was like, I haven't done one in a while. And somebody mentioned, like, probably a year ago, they were like, Marina, I would love to pick your brain about stuff. And I was like, I hope they don't mean, like, really? Like, but me? Like, you want to know what I had to think about? Figuratively things? or literally? Because you're going to be, like, weirded out. <laughs> like, ask me what I think about, like, mayonnaise. Like, you're going to be like, <laughs> what do you think about mayonnaise? <laughs> <laughs> the tinfoil hat, like, is shiny. <laughs> so, oh, my gosh. Okay. I tried to make it to where the chat wouldn't be all haywire or anything. Last time, we had some issues in the comments, and a lot of people were talking about moderators. I don't have moderators, and I don't have moderators for a specific reason. I had them, and then all my friends that had been on here for a while they were getting put in the hidden list. So you can actually hide people on YouTube where they can still comment. It's kind of like blocking, but they can still comment. You just can't see their comments. Found a lot of my regular people in those comments, so I just got rid of all the moderators, and it's just me. If you've been Tater around Nation. here for a while, though, and if you're, like, well-known in the channel and you want to be a moderator, hit me up over on Instagram. DM me over on Instagram if you want to be a moderator, and I'll absolutely make you a moderator. Like, people that I trust. I know, like... Man, there's so many, like, Lisa's on here, and Marilyn's, and um, Amerslow, and Jackie's, and Diane's, and Jean, and um, Patricia, there's Laura's, there's all, <laughs> there's all, there's, like, five of each that I know, and I can, like, pick them out like that, especially if you have, like, a unique user Hey, don't picture. forget Kathy. User picture? Oh, no, can never forget Kathy. I have two Kathy's. One of them is Feisty, and one of them is, like... Calm and sweet. It's like Kimberly, yep, <laughs> Michelle's, <laughs> all, of, all of them. <laughs> but um, if you do want to be a moderator and and I and you're like well known in channel, you don't have to be like well known channel, but like trustworthy and stuff. Then hit me up over on Instagram. I will make you one in a heartbeat. I need them because um, it gets a little wild in here sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, what was I saying? Uh, talking about your tin full hat and your people picking your brain. And, oh, yeah. yeah. So, we were going to do a different video. I had one ready to post. And I was like, no, you know what? I'm going to do a pick my brain. Hey, Adrian. I was like, I'm going to do pick my brain. So, you guys can literally pick my brain about whatever. Um, I don't really <laughs> know what you want to pick. Hey. <laughs> I don't really know what y'all want to pick my brain about. But you are free to pick it. Hey, Ashley. What you doing? How's your mom and them? Yay for moderators. Yes, Melissa. Melissa, I need a moderator. You want to be a moderator? I know exactly who you are. You want to be a moderator? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so this is the this is the plan for future videos. So I just did my big old declutter video series. Ooh. Like that took forever. Well, I just did big. that. I want to do like a series where I maintain that. And I kind of want to incorporate the flyleaf method into that because the flyleaf... Fly like flyleaf? Like the band? I can feel you all around me. Yeah, I think you mean flyleaf. I'm lady. so sick! 
<laughs> I'm done already. It's over. <laughs> nice the talking to y'all. Plan. Oh, fail top here. <laughs> we also have the skillet plan. <laughs> the Reliant K plan. <laughs> the Stellar Cart plan. Oh, just paint a little shade. <laughs> your bit on here is not helping this time. You need to stop. Um, you need to play your role better. And then, and then um, we have fly our... lady. <laughs> and that's... That's the Christianized versions. We also have the Aerosmith plan. Jesus and everything. The Rolling Stones plan. <laughs> okay. Fly lady. The fly lady. Every time. Every time. I have LGBTQ family here and I'm a fan. I'm a fan of y'all. I love every single one of y'all. But the fly lady method. I'm trying to incorporate that into my daily routine. Because she's so smart. Like, you talk about picking brain. I want to pick her brain. You like, can I feel her all around her brain. You. I can feel her <laughs> all around me. Pick her in the air. I'm breathing. Because um, she's so smart. But then, and, and, it, and I love her. And if she ever watches my videos, I never want her to think I don't love her. I absolutely love her. But then we get into some weird territory. And I feel like I'm reading a book that oh, I wrote. When she's, like, oh, putting her stuff under the sink. Yeah. Oh, if, Why yeah. Why do you tell me you should? Because I thought you were going to get in the... Thing. Oh, yeah, she wanted you to wear lace and panties, too. No, like, she made, she's, if I, if I wrote a book, that would be what my book read like. So, that's why I don't have no plans of writing a book. <laughs> it would be everywhere. There would be no chapter headers. It would be like, chapter headers would be like, what was I talking about? Let's <laughs> get back to the other thing. What was I saying? Let's get back to the other thing. Chapter nine, where am I at? <laughs> By this point, it's looking like a choose your own adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. So, anyways, I want to incorporate that into our homemaking, my homemaking, because I feel like, I mean, you could probably learn some stuff from Fly Lady, too. How about call her Fly, Fly Lady? Lady. <laughs> you find me a book called Fly Man. And <laughs> she, what does she call Fly Daddy? I don't think she calls her Fly Daddy. <laughs> does she call <laughs> Does she call it Fly Daddy? I can't remember. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not reading it. <laughs> For chapter hey, six. Rusty from North Carolina. I shouldn't. Oh, uh, check your phone real quick. Check your phone. Wait, what am I checking? Um, to make sure Super Chats are off. Because last time they weren't. Huh. Um, I'm wanting to. Hey, Angie, yeah. what y'all doing? Hey, Lee. <laughs> Listen, he's supposed to be on here. Uh, love your bun. How you do it? Oh, let me show you, girl. Let me show you. Okay, so you go. You want like seven day hair, right? You want your hair to be really, really dirty, or it's just gonna flop. It's gonna be like a wet noodle on top of your head. So you just bunch it all up, okay? You just bunch it like this, like so. Bunch it all up, and then you take it. You hold it, and then you take it. I'm confusing myself. Are y'all with me? You take it and you hold it, and then you wrap this around. I don't. I forgot how to do it. Now that I'm showing them how to do it. And then you twist it and you wrap it around and then you fan it out like one of the fans that your grandma probably had in church whenever they would turn the air conditioner off. I'm not You're like seeing, old school Pentecostal. Let me check. I'm not seeing an option. <coughs> I go to live chat and... Okay, okay, yeah, good. We're good. Off. We're good. We're good. We're go. But that's... The, can y'all say like you fan it out like that and it don't have that musky smell to it like the fan did, but... What? It always smelled like musk and them strawberry candies that you get at the Dollar Tree. Strawberry candies. Those fans that you fan out in church. They always did. That's I how I do so it. Did y'all see how I did there, it? I didn't even notice what you were saying. Wait, you don't want that part. That's the fish hook. And now sometimes I get the fish hook. No, you can't do that. You'll mess up the whole vision. The vision. I'm about to kick you off the live stream. You can't. <laughs> Okay, there we go. See, you got to be very careful with it. That's why when I sling my head around a lot, it goes everywhere. Good morning from Australia. You don't watch this in the morning. You can't tolerate me in the morning. I am a high dose of caffeine. <laughs> you want to wait till the evening to rewatch this. <laughs> a little much in the morning. <laughs> a little much in the morning, the evening, the supper. The pizza's on the bagel. You can eat pizza every yeah. time. <laughs> okay, your hair is gorgeous. My hair has taken a lot. Who's that? <clears throat> is that Lacey? I think Lacey just texted me. My hair has taken a hit since I've been bleaching it, but I will say I'm super happy with how it turned out. So it's not as thick, but my hair was super thick anyway. So it kind of got, you know, killed two birds with one stone. It got thinned out, and it, and it looks like I wanted it to. So 
it used to be really, really, really thick and luscious and voluminous before I see the way that you're looking at me right now. I'm listening. I saw it right there. You were thinking something, though. I was going what to say, yeah, I think it's pretty. You were thinking something else. No, I think it's pretty. I can tell on your face right there. Well, I don't know what he's thinking, but I know it's what I'm thinking. It's mirrored. I can see it. Back on. But, um, don't listen to him. Listen to me. And it, it, there it went. It's just gone like farting wind. There it is. Man. Sending love from Ohio. I should have, like, smelled some lavender or something before I got Aloha. Here. Love from Hawaii. I should have smelled some lavender. Nanny is good. Nanny is about to have a knee surgery, though. And that's why she has one of my recliners. Everybody and their mama asks, if y'all haven't been here for a while, they'll be like, where's your recliner? If they just pop in and say hi. Oh, yeah. And I'll be like, it's been gone for like two months. Maybe this is where you finally say it. Just say it. It's been gone it. for like two months. It went to nanny. So you don't have to explain I it I rehomed it. <laughs> hey, Megan. Oh, y'all want to see my cup? Look what one of our friends sent me. Can y'all see over the comments or is just the comments on my side? Look. <laughs> it says fearfully created. And it even says <gasps> Tater Nation. It says hashtag Tater Nation. And then... It says, I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I love it. I love it so much. It makes it even makes my water taste better. My mom had one, but my mom was stubborn. She mm. still tried to walk. Nanny is oh. stubborn. Nanny, she tries to keep up with my kids. I can't even keep up with my kids, and she still tries to. Um, Jane, I saw Jane Lange. Jane, I was just talking about you a few minutes ago um, about being a moderator. Um, Hi from Seattle. Is that in Washington? Yes. Have you ever heard of Forks, Washington? Okay, by, okay, we, 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 we live in, in the 2020s by this point. I think uh, everybody has heard of Forks, Washington. Forks, Washington is my favorite place, but I heard it didn't exist. It so, exists. Hey, neighbor. I heard that it didn't exist. Oh, still doing the podcast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me when. I'm, I'm kind of waiting. So, like, okay, so... Whenever, I feel like we have to explain this every live. <laughs> Whenever I go to do something, God literally has to be like, go. Like, he has to, like, push me without me even thinking about it. I'd be like, you really want me to jump off the oop and I'm off the cliff. Like, that's what it feels like. So, it's been a little different with the podcast because I felt like that oomph. Like, I know because I know what God's voice sounds like to me. And I know he said to do the podcast but every time i go to do it it's like i see this red light yellow light green light like a street light and stop stop light stop light mm -hmm. and it'll always have like red on it and i'm waiting on that moment Wait, where that it goes green to light. green you know yeah and that's what that's kind of what's stopping me because i it ain't gonna do nothing if god's not in it and i don't want to get on here and just talk myself in circles and and a lot of it too is time has to be holy ghost and, inspired yeah. i mean i'll make time for it if it's holy ghost inspired but yeah. it has to be holy ghost inspired otherwise i'm just talking out my rear end i mean that's just being bruntly on brutally <laughs> bruntly figuratively i don't know what i'm trying to say it's just being honest jacksonville florida i saw where florida oh, yeah. was flooding on tiktok i get yeah, all I my news orlando from TikTok. a minute ago too yeah that's not good are you anywhere near that that's scary <clears throat> hello from new hampshire that's and for keeping things tidy. Don't put it down, put it away. That's what my motto's been is don't set it down, put it away. I think we've been pretty good about doing yeah. that. Might be is, a few flub ups here and there, but this is uh Banks's But I think we've blanket, all got Banks on and Tater's blanket. That. Yeah. And so like we've been trying to. Um so I have a problem with picking it up and keeping it off the ground and then putting it somewhere else. So mm. I use that method, but then I don't put it in its home. And it needs to be in its home, so I'm trying to Get used to taking it and not stopping anywhere and making any pit stops and having squirrel moments. Am I still doing Weight Watchers? Yes. Yes, I live by Weight Watchers. I would, I'd be 500 pounds of one for Weight Watchers. I might not be losing fast, but I sure ain't gaining. <laughs> Weight Watchers is awesome. Um, Hellstones in England today. What? One time I was living across from my papa. And you remember this? <laughs> and he like, there was a big old storm. And it was hailing. And I had Colton. It was just me and Colton, I think. And no, he was, I was at work. No, you were there. Was I? Yeah. Because I had me and Colton huddled in the uh, closet of a trailer by the hot water heater. And you said, Marina, get out of there. And I'm like, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> you were acting like, 
<laughs> the apocalypse was happening because it's a bunch pillows. of hailstones. I had pillows all over the place. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I had my little toddler. And I was like, ah. And my papa comes, my papa was like 80 something years old. Before he, this before he died. He comes walking over in the middle of the hailstorm, knocks on the door, says, are y'all okay? And hail is just like pummeling him. Like, yeah. It's going all over the place. It's huge, like the size of a stratosphere like it's probably really like that big but that's pretty big and he was getting pelted with it and he came over there just to see and he wouldn't even come in the house he just stood there and he was like y'all doing okay okay did y'all eat anything okay do you have any plans tomorrow yes papa like <laughs> the pet the hell's just like coming down it was yeah was it was a wild like we don't get a lot of hell here in tennessee i i probably could count on one hand how many times i've actually seen hell you hear it but by the time you get outside it's melted so somebody said that our lights behind us were freaking them out. Which ones? I mean, dust will do that sometimes. What, <laughs> what are y'all saying? What are y'all saying? Live score. Hey, what are y'all seeing in the lights? Are they flickering? No, in Jesus' name. Are you flickering? Okay, that's enough. One flick, yes. Two flicks, no. <laughs> I just stared at it too long, and now I see, I see him lots of times. Got somebody in King Sport. Oh, neighbor. Keep flickering. I ain't seen him flicker. Oh my god! Unless it's like something on like the screen. Y'all are about to see me sweep some demons out the house. I will do that. I will wake up the whole trailer park at three o'clock in the morning if I think a demon's in here, and I'll start sweeping it out the door, being like, "Get out of here in Jesus' name." Let's see. Long I'm not being funny. Yeah. Hello <laughs> from the Bahamas. Who was from behind y'all? Hi uh, from Pennsylvania. What? What are you looking at there? Oh no. <laughs> it says so <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's the autofocus. Oh. Yeah, somebody just is, said they didn't see Flickr. Is my camera doing okay for you guys? Because I'm on storage shed is almost ready. Thank like, goodness. Almost done. I'm literally seven eighths of the way. Seven eighths. Yeah, that's a random number, but why don't you just go with like three fourths? Because it's not three fourths; it's seven eighths. It's seven eighths. I'm seven it's seven eighths, eighths of y'all. It's not three fourths. To get in it's not my halfway there. Storage shed, and then I can keep all of my Christmas decor and all of my Thanksgiving decor. Somebody just said they cloning me. Is that a conspiracy out there? theory out there now? There's a clone. I can't go down a rabbit hole right chain? now. I'm, Is that a conspiracy theory? Usually you make me better. This time you're more. Well, somebody chaotic. said cloning <laughs> Shane, and listen, I hear all the conspiracy theories in this uh, house all the time. So can, obviously, can I'm like, they clone Shane? I'm sure you could. I mean, they can clone pigs. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <so. laughs> Dad gone. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm three or four, so the, they're doing good. They're doing really good. They're playing right now. Um, and they're Fortnite. When I get that, though, it's going to give me so much more room, and I can have a linen closet. <laughs> that person got it. They said this world can't handle two chains. <laughs> I can have a linen closet in there in my bathroom. What? Phyllis is going to love the shed. <laughs> she's probably going to come into a competition between our sheds. Hers is going to be way Hers cooler, gonna though. Hers going to be a two-story shed. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's going to go all out. With flowers oh. and everything. Doing, please tell me we'll be doing more pantry challenges. I laughed so hard. Yes! So, I tried to get this one more involved with the last pantry challenge I did in the Easter video. And he was really tired because he had had a rough day. Oh, the... So, no, the, you're talking about when you did <laughs> the um, chicken and dumplings? Yeah. Because we were playing the guessing game. I didn't know what you were cooking. You didn't know the first time either. True. You just yeah, I want to make do. that. It's I want to make fault. that into... He does look really young. He looks like a little... Spring chicken. Hello. I do want to make that like into a series, like maybe, uh, like a weekend series, like where because at the end of the week, I mean, like probably everybody else out there, we're like it's slim around here, so we're trying to figure out what we're gonna cook or what we have left over. You guys know me; I don't stick to my meal plan <clears throat> half the time, so I usually have just the oddest things laying around, and that's what I have to use to make dinner. Because in the middle of the week, the meal plan isn't sounding good anymore, so I just go for something else, and that's what gets me in trouble. Favorite restaurant? Texas Roadhouse. I take this question seriously. Hold on. I love Texas Roadhouse. Um, 
Like, I love Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. Me and Texas Roadhouse, Roadhouse, we have a relationship. Texas Roadhouse. Oh, what about Outback? Mm. I think it depends That's on hard. the day. Because, like, okay, it to be fair. It depends on the district. I've had days where, well, even at the same one, I've had days where I go to a Texas Roadhouse, and it is phenomenal. 10 out of 10. And then we've had other days where it's, it's, eh, it's 7 out of 10. So I guess it's just based on who's working and, and all that. Mine so. is Texas Roadhouse. I love their critter salad. Oh, my gosh, it's so good. Or Gondolier. I love Gondolier. I think Gondolier might be only, like, a small chain. Gondolier, I Italian like it. They have Italian food, and it is the bomb. It's I like so Gondolier, good. but it it's... gets foundered with me after too much. Weight Watchers is going. <laughs> It's, it's going. I'm not gaining weight. I am having a really hard time losing weight. And I think it's because um, I'll do really, really good Monday through Friday. And on the weekends, like you guys have, you guys saw, we made chicken and dumplings last Saturday. So that's not a very Weight Watchers approved meal. It's like really not healthy for you. So weekends really trip me up. I'm not like, I don't drink soda. Like I got water in here. I don't drink soda, so that's not my downfall anymore. It's the weekends and hearty meals, because I'm Southern. And my hardy stomach or is... Hardy Hardy. My stomach is like... I hate hardy. Okay, so an average-sized person... I'm a large person. An average-sized person has a stomach, let's say, of like this, okay? My stomach is like this, because it's been stretched out. I mean, you stretch out a balloon... Well, that, it does go back to the way it was. <laughs> okay. You stretch out. You're not a science teacher anymore. You stretch out. You're fired. Um, you stretch out something, and it doesn't. You stretch it. Let's say you could stretch out something, and it wouldn't go back to the way that it was. That's what my stomach's like. Like even though I'm, I've lost weight and I've maintained losing that weight, I haven't like fluctuated like I used to. It's still like I'm hungry all the time, and I'm not really hungry. It's just my brain telling me I'm hungry. Sometimes I am hungry because I don't eat till like 4 p.m. in the afternoon. And then I like binge between like 4 and like 10 at night. So it's six hours worth of like food. So I'm having to like move around that. I tried doing, remember when I tried doing intermittent fasting and I almost died? I don't remember the dying part. Yeah, I had to go to the doctor. And that's how they found out oh, I had thyroid oh, oh, issues. Oh, oh, that's, yeah, okay. Never that's mind. how they found out I had thyroid issues. Um, we both look so young, like 24. Really? Well, thank you. You think he looks young? Do I not look young? And on camera, you do. Do I not look young in real no. life? No. How do I look? I'm like sixties, early sixties. <laughs> I'm hungry all the time, like legitimately, like not really, obviously, like I said, but my brain tells me I'm hungry all of the time. I feel like I look like thirty-five, don't I? I probably don't sound thirty-five. Mm -hmm. I feel like 35. Yeah, you look about 35. Are you being for real? No. <laughs> how old were you? Okay, how old? Y'all know how old I am. So you, you look like you're guess. about 28. I'm starving now. See, like, what are you supposed to tell yourself when you're hungry? You can't eat? That's Don't being eat. mean. If somebody walked up to me and said, this is my logic. If I'm standing outside and somebody walks up to me and says, I'm hungry, I'm going to feed them. If I tell myself I'm hungry... I'm going to feed them. I'm going to feed them. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to be feeding on more green stuff. And mushrooms are probably good for you. I ain't green. You know, I tricked myself That's into white. believing that I was allergic to mushrooms my entire life. I told one lie when I was like six. I told somebody I was allergic to mushrooms so they wouldn't make me eat them. And I literally believed that lie. This is how dangerous lying is, y'all. <laughs> I believed that lie until I was like 28 <laughs> that I was allergic to mushrooms, and I wasn't. So imagine being 30 and finding out you're actually not allergic to mushrooms. You just had yourself thinking that for like 20-something years. <laughs> so I, I need to start eating mushrooms. Like They got those portobello mums. Portobello mums. Mums? Isn't that like a plant? That yeah, goes in mums the by itself is, but portobellums. Some sort of mushroom. It's supposed to be edible. I think. Maybe. So you're all so, so full of joy. <laughs> um, I just try to like make the best out of everything, even my dislike of mushrooms. 
Magenta Princess! <laughs> <laughs> no! Yay! Who was I, that? I, Who was that? <laughs> they get a special uh, Tater Nation clap. Yay! <laughs> nothing makes me like more cringe than hearing Magenta Princess. I cannot stand it. Cannot stand You'll it. You'll get used to I it. I cannot. My little can Magenta you see my princess. comment? Yes, Bernard. Yes, I can see your comment. I just saw it. I, I couldn't see it before. <clears throat> Um, but I, Magenta Princess. <laughs> it's so cringy. I can't. I cannot. Like, I Magenta don't. Princess. I would. <laughs> what is this? I can't. I can be called. What is it you call me? I have a lot of names. Yeah, but you call me something and you got them to call on me in. Rainy? No, it's something else. Rena? No, it's something else. I can't remember. But you got them to call me it. If I get called Magenta Princess on my YouTube channel, All right, y'all. I'm going on hours, mine and Jesus. From this YouTube day channel. forward, she will only be referred to as Magenta Princess. Oh, Bunhead. <laughs> Bunhead. <laughs> Peppermint. Peppermint. <laughs> I can't. Oh, seriously though, that's that bothers well, me. Somebody saw There's me at Walmart today. A lot of things that bother me. Their mama said I had nice legs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never speechless. I am speechless. I am never speechless. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Peppermint Queen, Patty, Love Bun. Oh, I like Love Bun. Love Bun. Yeah, the puppers are with the kids right now. Tater would be eating toothpaste if she wasn't. Only seventeen. Oh yeah. Oh, I need a new recipe. Where'd you go? It, it, there's no use catching them. And I even have it <laughs> on away. the slow mode on garlic chat. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. I have it on the slow mode on chat. Bun of plenty. I like that one. That sounds biblical. My, my bun of plenty. Your bun of plenty. <laughs> fun bun. Show me thy bun. I like fun bun. <laughs> Show me thy bun. Um, London, UK. What you do? Ain't it dark there? What are you doing? <laughs> are you up? What time is it? What time is it? It's seven thirty-two. Sing Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, here I go again. Oh, I can never let you in. That's a movie I can't watch. Yeah, oh, broken yeah. hearted. Mm, yeah. Mama, I can never let you go. Mamma Mia. Honey Bun. I could tolerate Honey Bun over Magenta Princess. Magenta Princess sounds like a video game character in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. You ever I played Mortal her. Kombat? Because no? I, I would never never see Magenta Princess in Mortal Kombat. Magenta Princess sounds like something from Mario or no, something. No, that's what Princess Peach. Like, yeah. no, Magenta Princess. Mario, sounds, you got to go over to this kingdom like and say she's Princess got Magenta. Pink, a pink. I, I, I'm picturing We're her. We're like right Adventure now. Time. I'm picturing her right now. It is a pink bob cut with straight cut bangs, and she's got pink armor on, and she has scythes attached to her arms. And she, Size? she's a gymnast, and that is her strong point in fighting. And her sides turn into wings, and they slice through the atmosphere, and so she's a time traveler. That's Magenta Princess in my mind. And you're going to stick her in a game where they're literally going to probably rip her arms off and beat her with her arms. Mm -hmm. Okay. She can time travel. Yeah, she can go cool. back and get her arms. She sounds pretty, on. they say. <laughs> how, how I love passion. you guys, how you literally <laughs> Just go with whatever I say. <laughs> oh my gosh. Would y'all ever consider doing Princess. a meet up for your local followers? Uh, yeah, we, I mean, I don't, if we don't call it a meet and greet, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with running into y'all out in public. I just, the meet and greets make me cringe when people say meet and greet. Not because they said it, but like, I don't know. I just. I'll wear my shorts. I just, Marina, you are so funny. You think so? I don't think so. You <laughs> Usually can be. when you don't ever laugh at my jokes. Never. I, no, that's not true. That's not true. Usually I'm laughing at myself, not with myself. So I don't know if I'm being funny or I not. I laugh at some of your jokes, just not all of them. You don't, at two out of 20. 
No. Well, what's the I last was... joke I said that you laughed at? Uh, something in one of your last videos. Crack me up. I was laughing my high and off. It literally took mm. off without me. <laughs> well, no, like an actual joke, I tell you. Like, okay. Uh, I don't know. You're not good. <laughs> like, like, when it comes to, like, the What did the cow say like to the lawn leader? Is this the same um, no. joke that my children tell me nearly every day no. about move over? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Move over. You got to put move over. Move. Hey, what kind of movie does a pirate want to go see? It's got to be R-rated. And you want to make fun of my jokes. Well, they want to see the booty. <laughs> No, you can't say that. It's inappropriate. How is that? Do you see why there's cuts in my videos? That's not inappropriate. Booty is treasure. Y'all see why there's cuts in my videos. <sighs> Usually when I say you can't say something like that and it's the first beforehand's been cut, it's because that. Silence. And I can't cut live stream. You, you silence so much gold, it's not even funny. That's not gold. It's gold, I'm telling you. Guess what I found before. Somebody's not picking it up and putting it somewhere. I don't eat suckers. You do. I don't eat suckers. I, don't, I, don't I would not touch these Dollar General Tiger Pops well, for no it. amount don't of money. Me. <clears throat> Could be one of the tater four bun? little ones. Ta I like Tater Bud better nails. than Magenta Print. This is uh, this is L. A. Keller's from the Dollar Tree. And this is Evisa Nails by Shane. It looks really pretty under the um, LED lights in the bedroom. I was looking at, I was sending Lacey a picture about it. I mean, like, look. Do you like cinnamon? Do I like cinnamon? There's not much I don't like. Unless you don't. You, cinnamon is good. If you put good. it on crab or some um, shellfishy or Yeah, seafood, you don't like anything I won't fish. eat it. Um, well, I mean, I will eat it if I'm hungry enough. I'm not really an adult toddler, but I'm. Princess Abundance. That also sounds like something biblical. I love that one, Abundance. <laughs> Anything that gets you to quit calling me Magenta Princess. No, you're Magenta no. Princess. No! And for all those that are joining right Remember now, Remember the joke when you said your butt was worked off or something like that? <laughs> That's what it was. It was a butt joke I said. That's inappropriate. No. That's inappropriate. And this is why Yours I have to in... cut out your conversations <laughs> in so much of the videos. <laughs> Yours was in out of context mine was in context and i was honestly just repeating one how was mine out of context i was just repeating one what is that is that a is that a whale that is a blue man laughing you have an android me no the blue man laughing one. <laughs> i've never saw that one before um she's my baby doll i like baby doll a lot better than no, yes i want a recipe princess. yes if you if i don't see your recipe coming down on here then um when i end the live stream come back and like put it in the comments and i can read the comments commented on the live stream after i end it they stay around for some reason the comments right now that y'all see they won't stay around and i hate that because i would love to go back and favorite songs and lately. read them all um, it's a fun, fun life. It's a fun, 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 fun life. life. Every, Every day, day I find. That's like for King Country. It says, Jesus stranded with a flat tire, and he's grinning ear to ear, and whispering these words under his breath. It's, it's a, a fun, 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 fun life. life. It's a fun, fun life. We got a little heart man. See, these little, cranes, y'all got yeah, Android. Like little don't sticker you? people. Oh, is it a YouTube emoji? Oh, it's not an Android. Uh, Wait, YouTube has its own yeah, emojis? Also, yeah, you can, like, even make special emojis, I'm pretty sure. Tater tot hot dish. Now, that sounds like something I like. I ain't never turned yeah, a tater tot buddy. down. Never. Mm -mm. You could put, you could probably put fish on a tater tot, and I still would not turn it down. I'm a tater tot person. That person said her husband calls her sweet and sour. Sweet and sour? Oh, that's cute. Wait, why? I did not even know. How's the weather where you are? Blue and pretty. Blue is my favorite color. I get blue. Oh, that's pink. But I get pink when I turn out the lines. Sometimes you just have to ignore. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the potato YouTube? Hmm? 
Where's the potato? Have you tried typing potato in the search Reci bar? Recipe? Oh. The potato recipe? They probably said something else. It went by too fast. I couldn't read it. Hey, Darlene. I see you. I hey, saw there's, you. There's a goat. Last movie we fully watched. I'm, I'm telling all y'all can pick my brain. Anything on the book and y'all are asking me what movie I watched. I can't oh, remember. Oh, no, no, we watched um, Prince of Egypt last. Yep. You see, I'm not, last movie we watched. I'm not a movie person. I cannot sit and watch a movie. The last movie that my mm. kids, because the only person that can make me sit down and watch a movie are my kids. Uh, the, the, you know I don't. No, you know I don't sit down with you. I would love to, but I just, uh, I sat down with you the other day and played video games last night. That's true. Um, but what well, it was uh, Maze Runner. And oh the yeah, Hunger we watched Games. the Maze Runner. We watched the whole series of Maze Runner and the whole series of the Hunger Games. The new Mario movie? No, yeah, but I saw on YouTube that it was out. Jack Black. No, I saw on TikTok that it was out. Jack Black told me. <laughs> hey, you guys want to hear a funny Jack Black oh my gosh. story? Here so we go. a few years ago, Jack Black uh, created a YouTube channel called Jablinski Games. And I see it on there, and I'm like, oh, this is cool. Because his he explains like he's going to play video games, right? So he put out the first one. He doesn't play any games in the first one. He put out the second one, didn't play any games in the second one. And by the third one, he's still not playing it. And I remember I left a comment, and I said, I'm pretty sure I think he's trolling us. No lie, Jack Black liked the comment. I was there, I saw it. And followed me for a short period of time, and then... Pulled a true troll fashion and unfollowed me. I, he got me excited. I was like, Jack Black is following me. And then I, I he unfollowed me. I was, and like, I was like, oh my gosh. And then we went back and he wasn't oh. following no more. <laughs> the ultimate troll. Yeah, he book? got me. I saw somebody ask what book I'm currently reading. I'm currently reading, I just finished Deluge. Did you finish it? Lisa T. Berger. And oh my gosh, y'all got to read the, I didn't know you finished the that. River of Time series. There's a new one coming the out. The River of Time by it's like a spin-off kind of a uh, river of time series by lisa t bergeron bergeron the first book is called waterfall and then there's like cascade and then uh torrent there's a bunch of them and they are so good no like i think they smut i think they call it smut no smut or anything like that it is literally about these two sisters who time travel and fall in love with these guys from like the 1400s where there's like knots and the bubonic plague and stuff going on. Because <laughs> nothing screams romance like the bubonic plague. I mean, but the, <laughs> and all that is going on, and they have to figure out if they're going to stay in the bubonic plague times or if they're going to stay in the real life. Can times. they not just drag the dudes with them? Can they not the They dudes? can, but the dudes are kings. So they can't leave oh, their whole kingdoms. I got you. But it sounds, I'm making it sound funny. It's really a good, like, very fast-paced adventure. It's very good. And like I said, it starts out like teenagers. So I was like, oh, uh, because I'm not about why anymore. I'm 31. It just doesn't interest, interest me anymore. But they said it's throughout one of the, the sisters, series, Magenta Princess. But throughout the series, throughout the series, they grow up. So only in one book are they young. And then in the next book, like teenager young, and the next book they're a little bit older. Next book a little bit older. Next book a little bit older. So it gets caught up with like me, you know. Like, That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really cool. It grows with the book. That's what I was reading, and then I started reading the second book in the Zodiac Academy series, and I don't know if I'm gonna continue it because it's just a little weird. Weird. It's a little weird. I hate DNF. They love hearing Cammy sing. Um, uh, Cammy's a good singer. Yeah. For a rough patch. Okay. Advice on how you went from a rough patch to best friends. <clears throat> I stopped being a butthead. Um, Cause he was, I was always his best friend, but he wasn't always mine. So I stopped being a butthead and I, you know, this is what happened. <laughs> I, I was going through my own thing and I was trying to change and I couldn't. But one day I asked water. Jesus, you should have got your cup. One day I asked Jesus to give me his heart for Shane because I wanted to love Shane like Jesus loved Shane. And he did. Like, oh my gosh, did he ever. Like, I see Shane, how Jesus she sees Shane, she shows, she shows by seashore. I see him that way and I'm just like infatuated with him. Like, I. 
I literally am so in love with him. It's not even funny. And I was before. I mean, I was 17 when we got together. And so, I, whenever I was really young, like, was, oh my gosh, the sun set and rose on Shane to me. Shane was never the problem in our issues. It was always me. So, it was up to me to fix it, kind of. It's up to Jesus, you know. But, like, it was up to me to take initiative to fix it because he was never the problem. My problem was my own insecurities. I was very, very pretty. Like, I look back at those pictures and I was like, wow, I was really pretty. I was not pretty on the inside. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? I was not pretty on the inside, but um, I, I was mean. Like, I was insecure. I Even though I, I was pretty, I was very insecure. And my insecurities drove me to such bad decisions. And also, I have, you know, I have what they call daddy issues and stuff like that. So, it just wasn't, I had to completely change my mindset and change my personality and like I don't even there's not an inch of that girl left in me like I it's foreign I don't know her like down to my mannerisms like I used to talk very I was very um how would you explain that like I how you talked yeah I was very everything I said I thought had held so much value oh right and now it's the polar opposite where I feel like I don't have anything to say of value. So I have to kind of work on that because I went from one extreme to the other. But I will be fine feeling that way as long as I don't ever feel the other way again. Like, mm -mm. <clears throat> How do you forgive yourself? I have a hard time forgiving myself. I can't give you information on that. I, I can't forgive myself. I'll, I'll probably die not forgiving myself. And that's hypocritical because I tell you guys, you know, to forgive yourself and, and God will forgive you and God will forgive you. And he has forgiven me, but I don't think I'll ever on this side of heaven be able to actually forgive myself for the decisions I made and what I did to my family. I think it's impossible. I might one day. I've done, I've went big steps, um, bigger than I ever thought I would go. And my mindset has changed a lot, especially the older that I get, but Forgiving myself for doing that to my most favorite person on the entire planet. I don't, I don't know if that's possible. I, I hope that you can forgive yourself, though. Um, because from an outsider looking in on you, like, you deserve to forgive yourself. Because God does forgive you. And um, nobody should be a bigger judge than God. And <clears throat> But right now, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm being a bigger judge than God, and I'm not forgiving myself. Because I, I don't know how. You know? I don't know how. Um... But I hope I will one day. It's something that gets brought up in prayer a lot <laughs> on my end. It's something that God's really got to, got to, yeah, you can't. You can always forgive, but you can't forget. And that goes on my part just as much as it goes on his part. So, like, Shane is so different than most people. He never talks about it. He never thinks about it, like, that you tell me you don't. No. But, like, me... It's always in the back of my mind, 24-7. I'm vacuuming, it's there. I'm cooking, it's there. I'm homeschooling, it's there. I'm filming, it's there. I'm talking now, it's there. It is always there. It's never leaving. It's literally a ghost that haunts you 24-7. So. You want me to do an exorcism? I'll get it out of there. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> I can try. I need to see one. That's probably the ghost that's making a lot flicker, but no thrill. Give me three eggs, two uh -oh. spoons of cinnamon, and a cup of water. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're getting this thing out. <laughs> Man, I was trying not to cough. That's how I try to alleviate the situation through humor. Uh -oh. Oh, man. Uh, Garlic people powder. Were asking, people thought this was uh, an old school Pizza Hut cup, and I'll show them. It's a Dr. Pepper cup. My mom used to take Pizza Hut stuff. Uh, this is actually uh, Colton bought this for me. Uh, was it for Christmas or my birthday? Christmas. One year. I think it's Christmas. And so this is my cup that I drink out of. Cucumber water helps to make you too. <laughs> Well, they are so my people. <laughs> I will claim every single one of y'all. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs>
Well, she's gonna be out for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> 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 Everybody's laughing. You will need more candles and wax melts. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, she does this thing where, like, no lie. I'm trying to stop. She, she <laughs> okay, she's in it. Where she'll go into a laugh mode and she cannot get out of it. And what's funny is her mom does it. <laughs> And when you get the both of these laughing like that, you're going to be here for a while. I can't. I got Remember that time out. when you got, when we were figuring out what we were going to name Colton and you guys were laughing because you were saying Colby Cheese and you both started <laughs> laughing like that and you guys did not stop for a good 30 to 40 minutes. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> I can't, y'all. <laughs> um, I, well, it's going Wait, wait, wait. Oh, why does it do that when you hold it? And it uh, just... Somebody said, not trying to yell, just easier seeing your, I, I saw your comment because you used capital letters and I lost it. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Uh -uh, okay. Hashtag okay. Tater Nation. I also try not to yell whenever I'm talking, but I, oh, listen. The other day, I was sitting in the bathtub, and I hollered for Shane to come in there. I was like, Shane, get in here now. He came in there, and I was like this. And I was like, here, talk to me right now. Oh, oh your ear? Your ear? I'm half deaf in this one. And I just figured it out. Like, randomly. I was, like, sitting there, and I was playing with my ears, you know, like, just, like, doing. I just needed something to do with my hands. Wait, 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 wait. So that's how you discovered it? Yeah, I always had to have, have to do something Just sitting in the hands. bathtub, and you're going. There's nothing else to do in the bathtub but wash your Bathe. body. <laughs> I marinate. I don't bathe. I sit in the body wa the body of water and marinate. So I do. No. But after you bathe, you just sit there. You're supposed to be relaxing, but I don't know how to relax. So I'm just like playing with my ears. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, wait, I can't hear on my left one. And then I'm like, Shane, come in here. And sure enough, I can't hear on my left one. So if I yell, it's because A, that right now. But B, I yelled way before I had that issue. It's because I live in a very loud house. It's quiet right now, but that's deceiving. It is loud in here. It's like, chaos. So loud. A lot of times when I do voiceovers. So I say, can you hear me? <laughs> it's a lot of times when I do voiceovers because uh, it's it's very loud. So, like, I always feel like I have to yell. And I don't even really realize I'm yelling. And also, I'm very excitable. I get excited over pebbles. So, like, I see a perfectly round pebble and I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't mean to be that way. It's just literally how I am. Um, I, I don't even know what happened. I don't know what happened. See, I'm blind in this left eye, so this whole <sighs> side of my body is just going downhill. I have constant ringing in my ears. That's because of firework. Well, yeah. Uh, so, in this ear, whenever uh, I was in high school, me and my nephew, we were dumb, and we were throwing firecrackers at each other. And anyway, I took a firecracker that had a really short fuse on it and went to throw it, and it blew up right next to my ear, and ever since then... Tinnitus, tinnitus, tinnitus. And then in this one, I got a really bad ear infection after swimming in a pool. You're going to a Taylor Swift concert tomorrow. <laughs> the Aero not... Store, I've been watching it on, on TikTok. Rena doesn't have a good relationship with <laughs> no, Taylor Swift. I don't, but then I'm secretly like a fan. Like, I've been watching her Aero Store TikToks, and they are like good. They're good. I don't listen to her hardly. Well,. It depends. I don't listen to a whole lot of... So, like, I listen to 99% out. I listen to 99% of, uh, like, Christian and stuff like that. But then I'll listen to stuff like me and Shane used to listen to when we first met. Which is some I wild stuff. I whip out the... It's not wild. It's just alternative. It's pretty wild. Alisana? Alessana. 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 Breaking Benjamin. I never liked Breaking Benjamin. I did. That's you. I never um, liked them. AFI. Hey. It's, it's heavy. AFI. It's heavy. So I'll like go down memory lane and listen to a little bit of that. And. Here's December. Every I know every day. song of AFI. <laughs> I'm their biggest fan. I was. I'm not anymore. 
Um, the devil is a liar, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have to be careful what I listen to. And I really have to listen to, like, how I feel because I'm a very, I think, like, I'm very empathetic. An empath. I can walk through the store and I can tell how somebody feels right then and there. Guns and roses. Um, but, like, when I listen to music, music can affect me. And it's not just my mood. It can affect, like, how I'm thinking, too. So, like, I have to be very, very careful <clears throat> about... Rush. I don't hear anybody talk about Rush anymore. About what I listen to. Rush is good. Van Halen, Def Leppard. Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. Okay, that's one of my favorites is the Foo Fighters. Journey. I hate that their drummer died. I'm, I'm reading like half of each of your comments. What happened between you and Taylor Swift? Well, we have beef. We have, well, it's turned into chicken over the years. But when I met Shane, he had, he's engaged to her basically in my head. <laughs> <laughs> she they were, like... they were They were planning their kids' names and everything. And I just, I didn't sit right with me. And it never has. You're ridiculous. He took a picture beside her poster one time and said she was pretty. And she had a fit. Before he met me. <sighs> Shane, do you like her? No, song? I don't like I can't stand her music anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really don't. I don't like her music. That was back during the country era. <clears throat> and you don't even like country. Mm -mm. She changed you. She changed me. Yeah. Huh? She she changed him because he, he doesn't like country. How did you, did you listen to her music? Yeah. Teardrops on my guitar. He's the <laughs> reason for the teardrops on my guitar. She probably I don't know wrote the rest that of the about words. you. She did. <laughs> she should have oh. held them tears in. There's only one girl for me. Uh, yeah, but anyway, in my head they were they were engaged and they they had already put down payment on a house and everything. But he literally took a picture beside her poster and says she was pretty. <clears throat> loves Taylor. She everybody loves her. She's like she uh she has a big fan base. What are they called? She it's um Swifties. 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 Well, we need a fan base. The Taters. No, we don't the do taters. that. We don't do that. The bunch of Taters. Nope. Tater <laughs> They're bunch. They're best friends. The Tater bunch. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stand Taylor. See? Thank you. Thank you. Lisa is always on point. I love little Lisa. Always on point. The Tater Tots. <laughs> no. The Spuds. The Spuds. We're getting somewhere. No. You guys are my friends. <laughs> Foo Fighters of the Bomb. Yes, they are. Um, now, that's a Taylor I like. Next makeover. I'm doing something with the table. Actually, oh, yeah. That's going to be cool. But also, if y'all have saw in the last few videos, there are shiny parts all over my living yeah. room. And it's because I told Shane to go get Stone Harbor Grays, which is the color my walls are in my living room and my hallway. Which, before you go any further, has anybody else had issues at their Walmarts about not carrying paint? Because he got the glossy. All of our Walmarts. And I didn't notice it them. was glossy, glossy until I got a few swipes in on each wall. I don't know why I didn't stop on one. But uh, there's literally gloss stripes all over the living room. So yeah. that's one thing I need to do is I need to cover that up, fix that up, and then finish the other half of the living room. But I also want to do something with my table and then laundry room. Mm -hmm. and, the and table's going to look cool. That's going to uh, be very different. Yeah, I'm excited. I've showed Shane and kind of had him draw up something. Yeah. I, I can only show him what I draw <clears throat> up, and he has to literally take something from my drawing you been, ever been into Nine Inch Nails? I haven't. <clears throat> nine Inch Nails. Yeah. Uh, Somebody was asking. Nine Inch Nails. Um, what was that other one? Sometimes goodbye is a second chance. Oh, Hinder? No, that's not Hinder. Is that not Hinder? Tell oh. my mama, tell my Who is that? mother, I've done the best I can. To make it. Shane's mom is alive. <laughs> Jesus is too. <laughs> Glory. <clears throat> um, what is that? Uh, uh, Johnny Cash. 
I'm always Does singing. Anybody know who sings that? I'm always singing that You've one. You've been, been weighed in the balance and found long time. <laughs> Uh, Sean Down. That's oh, who I'm okay. talking about. Yeah. Sean Down and Nine Inch Nails. Doll Tree. <coughs> Coldplay. I like Coldplay. In a power Hey, I'm going to say it right now. Somebody said Nickelback. Nickelback gets so much hate. There you go. And I will never understand why that band gets hate. His voice is a little monotoned. I don't think it's monotone. I think it's just I because mean, everybody heard photograph a thousand times. Yeah, oh, I hate photograph. Look at this photograph. But it, I will never understand why they get hate. His music don't excite him, though. It doesn't excite him? Yeah. Look at this photograph. It kind of makes me laugh. Well, I just saw it. So, okay, we got some Nickelback love up in Johnny's here. Johnny's head. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Marina, have you ever read Battlefield of the Mon? Uh, I don't think so. Who's it by? Is it like a Christian author? I've read a bunch of books by Christian authors. Um, Backstreet Boys. Backstreet's back. All right, then. Joyce no, Myers. No, 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 Joyce no, no, no. Myers. I think they said. Well, I know who Joyce Myers is. Um, I actually got a Joyce Myers book from one of our friends. It's in there on my tater really want now that Colton's room. Why is she <laughs> doing that? Because he's got her in there, so she won't eat two face. Um, one of you guys sent me a Joyce Meyer book. It's on my bookshelf. I read, um, bah, 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 bah. she wanted to be a fool for you. Just another plan in your game or two. Um, Robert Slyardin, I Saw Heaven. Where I Went to Heaven is a really good book. I love that. I've read that one a thousand times. I'm probably going to read it a thousand more before I die. What? Uh, I Saw Heaven by Robert Slyardin. Oh, that's a good one. Roberts, I like Robert Slyardin. His name isn't Robert. It's Robert's, Robert Slyardin. Yeah. He also has a series here on YouTube you can find. It's called God's Generals, and it's really good. I've watched every single one of those a billion times. They're really good. He's got a good spirit on him. I, like I love him. Mm -hmm. He's, like, so nice. Um... Marina, have you read any books by Karen? Um, that one is one that is mentioned a lot. Whenever I ask you guys for not bad, like, stories, you know. Well, not, like, bad, but, you know, stories that make me uncomfortable, <laughs> I should say. Uh, she's brought up a lot, and I don't think I've ever read one of her books. Because I'm just now getting into the Christian side of fiction. Because I didn't even know it was a genre for the longest time. I did have one author who I read in her series. Mary Lou Tindall. Mary Lou Tindall. I got it. She, I didn't know when I started. I just picked up her book one random time at a library. Or no, at a bookstore. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know she was a Christian author. But I loved her book, her trilogy, Escaped Paradise trilogy. So then when I found Lisa T. Bergeron, I was like, oh, snap. There's a whole genre of these Christian authors. And they're interesting books. They're not like these flat plot books like they're actually interesting so i need to look i need to look more into her i have a goodreads so i need to start looking up on goodreads <coughs> some of her books to read and put that like asap on my to be read pile concrete angel that's a song too a country song concrete angel that's a sad song ain't it i see lots of people that they're top they're typing all kinds of songs in here um Amish books. Shane's mom loves Amish yeah. books. She loves Amish Big books. Big time fan of those. Martina McBride. Yeah, Martina. Concrete Angel. How's the rest of it go? I can't remember. Hello, Princess Prevail? Prevel? Um. How about Billy Ray Cyrus? Gonna take my horse on the old town road. See, I go back and I just think of right Achy Breaky Heart because that was what was playing on when I was like in elementary school. Go on, Tank. My, I used to think that Billy Ray Cyrus would be such a good dad. You know. Back whenever I was little and I'd watch Hannah Montana, I'd be like, man, he's such a good dad. <clears throat> hey, Billy. Matchbox 20. That's Ma you right there. <laughs> what, I'm not crazy. I'm just a little. Oh, old. I hate Matchbox 20. <laughs> right now, you can't too. I love that. It takes me back to my childhood. Buffalo, New York. What's up? Man, I would, we want to go to New York so bad. <clears throat> Do I have a wish list on Amazon? No, I don't have a wish list. Um, 
I love you guys. I love you. Um, Texas. We want to go to Texas too, don't we? Yeah. Goo Goo Dolls. Ooh, can you? Oh, yeah. don't tell my heart. The my goo -goo. egg break at home. Not the Goo Goo Dolls. Yeah. I know, but I saw egg Oh, egg. I thought you were saying they sung that, and I was like, no. <laughs> what did the Goo Goo Dolls sing? I don't want the world, world to see me. Jolie can tear yeah. that one up. Uh, the Weight Watchers programs, my thoughts and opinions. It is a very relatable and realistic way to lose weight. Shout, however. Shout out to Allie. She loves hey, Allie. Um, however, it can be manipulated and it can be abused. Um, you can eat whatever as long as it falls within your points. And that is Saudi a thing movie. I have saw myself fall into before. I've just ate whatever. And not going over the point system. And, I mean, you can eat, like, five Oreos and a cheeseburger. And then that will take up your points, and you can't eat for the rest of the day. You're still filling your body with junk, but you met your points because it's, it's basically a caloric deficit, calorie deficit, deficit. Deficiency? No. No. Your body ain't deficient. Yeah, it is, I guess. But I think they call it caloric deficit. Deficit. Huh. Interesting. Um, but it's basically, it goes a lot with that. It doesn't focus on carbs or anything. Um, vegetables and fruit are free, so they don't cost you any points. So you can overeat on those. You can eat a ton of fruit and vegetables and just eat, 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 eat. So you have to be very careful. Deficit, but I will yeah. say it has been the easiest way I have ever lost weight. And that's what I needed in this time of my life. I know people would be like, oh, well, easy weight isn't weight that'll stay off. Yeah, I mean, you're right, because I lost 100 pounds before. I know better than anybody that easy weight isn't weight that'll stay off. But I needed something that would meet me where I'm at right now. I don't have time to go to the gym, so I got my treadmill, which I'm loving. I'm loving it so much. I don't have time between everything that we do that you guys don't know about during the day. I've got appointments and all those things, and then I do YouTube, and I'm constantly filming and editing. Every day of my week, I'm either filming or I'm editing, so I rotate. So one day I'll be filming, next editing, filming, editing. There is no off day, which I don't mind because I don't see this while it is considered a job because there is money involved. I don't see it as a job. I did it for the longest time without getting paid, so it's just fun for me. I don't see it as a it's a hobby. It really is. It's a hobby that helps provide for my family. And for that, I told Shane the other day, I was like, I'm so grateful. Yeah. Like, I'm so grateful for, I never, ever, 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 ever thought something like this would happen. So I don't dread filming or editing every day. It's just, it's a lot. So sometimes I'm editing for like 10 to 12 hours, 16 hours before, 18 hours is my longest one, mm -hmm. wasn't it? 18 hours is my longest one. And I'm that sitting there straight up, sitting there, only bathroom breaks, barely a break to eat editing a video so i don't have time to by the time i get done with that it's time to end homeschooling and cooking and keeping the house semi tidy i don't have time to leave and go somewhere so it weight watchers is a really good program if you use it correctly um it, if you don't the good thing about weight watchers is there's an option to maintain your body weight on it which is what i intend to do um I intend to lose until I've lost. Well, I'll probably be losing for the rest of my life to get to my goal weight. I probably won't be my goal weight in heaven. <laughs> but, but I'm going to maintain it. If I do get down to that, I'm going to maintain it using Weight Watchers. Because it's, it's realistic. And I've learned how to do it more healthily. Not really healthy, but more healthily than I started. Today, Happy anniversary! Yep. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy. Hello. Yo, yo, yo. Because my, the reason why it's a secret is because I don't think that you can talk about it on YouTube. Similar to like other places of your employment, you're not allowed to speak about your money. I don't think, from what I've heard from other YouTubers, I haven't really got in and looked at the, the stuff, like fine print. But I don't think you're allowed to talk specifics because it's different for everybody. You get, I can tell you, you get paid based off of your views by RPM and CPM. RPM... It can be anywhere from $4 or even lower per thousand views to like $50 or higher per thousand views. So, I mean, somebody could, or like 50 cents. So somebody can be making 50 cents per thousand views. You get 4,000 views that month. You're going to be making $2. Um, that's why a lot of times 
the YouTubers will do sponsorships because that's where the money's at with YouTube. If you intend to do YouTube and just rely on ads and stuff for like full-time employment, like that's, that's dangerous territory. That's really dangerous territory. That's why a lot of people go for ads because, or for sponsorships because the ads are not reliable. So sponsorships, let's say, I know I've been offered, I can tell this because I, this is aside from YouTube, this is with sponsorship with actual companies. I, know, I can say this because I turned it down, but I know I have been offered, like me, I have been offered almost $6,000 to show you guys a vacuum cleaner. A three-minute segment in a video to show you guys a vacuum cleaner. So that's where the money's at. I mean, you got to think about it. some of these people do like one sponsored video a week. If they're getting 100,000 views, I mean, they're probably making more than $6,000 per video. They're making $30,000 a month easily. I mean, easily. So that's where, that's why probably people, I don't think it's a secretive thing. I just, it's different for everybody. And, and if you were to find out what so-and-so made, that does not mean you would be making that. Because I know people who, I know YouTubers, and I won't say their name, but I know YouTubers who make a lot of money. A lot of money. I mean, physician salaries. And I know YouTubers who have 400, 500,000 subscribers. And they get a really good, like, view to subscriber ratio. And they make $600 a month. It's all based on the ads bidding for your, your videos. The, what, the, what it is is the ads will come in. They'll bid for your videos. And then they'll bid on it based on your demographic. Um, whatever that means. I read that the other day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so demographic is like I read that the other day. who's watching. So yeah. they'll base it on, like... You know, let's say there's a channel that reviews toys. Yeah. Their demographic is going to be kids. Well, they, they, they come in, the ads come in, and they bid on what, they, they, what they'll pay to put their ad on your video. And then YouTube takes 45% of that. And you get 55% of what the highest bid was, what the bid <clears throat> that YouTube chose was. So that's how that works. <clears throat> It's not a reliable, a reliable way. Um, it it concerns me when I see people go out here and and get huge houses on a YouTube income. Like it concerns me because I'm like, this is this is relatively new. I mean, it's been around for a while, yeah. But in the scheme of things, it's relatively new. It's a new way to get paid. It's a new career kind of thing. You don't know what's going to happen with it, and to get yourself in a pickle. Seven hundred thousand dollar home loan that you you can't pay outside of something were to happen is very dangerous. It's very dangerous. Um, you don't you don't know the future of mm -hmm. it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for some people, yeah, it's so it's so it's so weird. Um, I know my demographic is I don't know how to read the analytics, so I'm not the best person to ask questions um people ask me all the time like how my view to subscriber ratio is so good compared to others i don't know other than uh, god i mean because i don't ask anybody to subscribe and i i never have really so I, if i did it was in the first like few months i know after like two <clears throat> months i never asked that again because i figured if somebody wants to subscribe they will i won't have to pressure them into it and then that's the kind of person who will return you know what i mean like that's the kind of friend i make that will be a friend i mean some of y'all have been here since 400 subscribers and i know you by name i know your icon and everything whenever people go out here and they have to kind of sell themselves and sell their channel they while they may sell it it's a short sell because those people half the time don't return because there's no connection there mm. It's a business base. You make me money, um, so I want you to stay, or I want you to subscribe, or I want my numbers to look good in front of others, or something like that. And that's not everybody's thought process. Don't get it wrong. But that's the, the percentage of the thought process. And so I don't care about what my numbers look like to people. I don't, if somebody's looking at my numbers real close, they're looking closer to me. <laughs> I can't tell you how many subscribers we have right now. Um, specific, like in specifics, I know that we have like 86 something or 87 something. I think we reached 87. Did we? 87 so. something. Um, but as far as like <clears throat> wanting my 
channel to be seen in a particular manner or nothing. That doesn't bother me. I was alone before you guys. Like, straight up alone. I didn't have friends. I didn't have nobody I could talk to. I didn't have nobody that would listen. I didn't have nothing. So, I mean, other than Jesus and my family. So, now I Thank get you. friends. Thank you. <laughs> I get friends, like, genuine friends <clears throat> who will, like, ask about me. And I know your family's name. And I know what you're going through. And I know that you went to the hospital last Friday and all this stuff. And then I'm able to help support my family. Like, that's amazing. Somebody just asked if I shaved my eyebrows. That's a, a like that's, that's unbelievable, you know? So, that's all I know when it comes to analytics. I can't tell you a whole lot about analytics because I don't know a lot myself. I really don't. Um. <clears throat> Y'all are going like... I think we're way behind. <laughs> we might be. Can you refresh it? Um. Oh, there we go. Okay. I stumbled upon. Oh yeah, because it's given times time stamps on those. Uh, yeah, those are up to. Okay. okay, it's up to. Analytics. Analytics. Is that what? Analytics. Is that how you say it? Analytics. For sure. Analytics. As long as you shave your legs. Listen, I don't even shave my legs. Somebody was asking if I shaved my eyebrows. Did you? No. I mean, do they look like they're shaved? No. Oh. I'll just do this. Um. There we go. I'll the I'm going to keep my eyebrows like this the entire time. Or this. How to find an old time revival in East Tennessee this fall. Oh, man. They're everywhere. <laughs> I go to all of them. <laughs> So you, around fall time, everyone's having homecoming. The tent revivals are everywhere around here. Yeah, those have been really picking everywhere. up recently. Um, we had, like, what, a good four or five different ones I last summer alone? I don't know how many I went to last summer. There's quite a few. Yeah, I went um, to that one with you not too, long, or not too far from here. And then you went to, like, three or four different ones. Yeah. Depends on what your old, old time yeah. revivals look like. Baptist, old time Baptist revivals are everywhere around here. Everywhere. Yeah. Pentecostal mm. revivals, they come and go, um, but there's quite a bit of them. <laughs> Somebody was saying that my my face would get stuck like that. What? The... Uh, <laughs> um, but I think they share about it on Facebook. I don't have a Facebook, so I don't know. But I know a lot of my friends tell me about things that they see on Facebook. About where do you take B12 shots? About where you can find revivals around here. I don't take B12 shots. <clears throat> But is that good or bad? I Razor got healed porter. from celiac disease, gluten free. I've got no more. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Okay. You are my favorite people on here. <sighs> Listen, I love you guys so much. I'd love to meet you guys. If you ever see us out, do not hesitate. The best thing in the world is whenever I hear fearfully created yelled across the mall. And I'm looking for you, and I'm like, I know you're here somewhere. And somebody runs up behind me and is like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, hey, just don't ask me for my autograph because that's happened a few times, and that's weird. That, it makes me feel weird. They know how to reel me in. It said, let's have a barbecue. <laughs> <coughs> Everybody see. always asks me if I'm sick when I get on here because I get hoarse and I cough. It's just where I talk a lot. I love you, too, Emily. But I had the sweetest person ever come up to me in a Walmart one time. And he said, he was a pharmacist. Like, Oh, I loved him. I loved him so much. I pray every time I go to Walmart that I run into him because he was the nicest person. We saw him one planet. time, but he we He said, he I don't busy. know how often this happens, but <laughs> can I have your autograph? And I was like, I'll write your wife a letter because it was for his wife. So I wrote, I love you on it. And he like took a picture with me. He was yeah, the nicest I person. Liked him. A lot of times I run into y'all's husbands more than I run into y'all. There was that one you saw at the grocery store. Pest control. Yeah. yeah. He I, was really nice. Yeah. I remember his that. Wife, um, his wife watched us. He was, he was really nice. They're always nice people. <clears throat> selfies. Yeah. I take selfies with everybody. I don't know how many selfies I've taken, but they're floating around. I, sometimes I share them whenever somebody finds me on Instagram and we've taken a picture. They'll send it to my DMs and I'll share it on my Instagram stories because I just love the fact that, like, I I mean, I'm not well known in 
outside of YouTube, I'm not well known. Like, somebody could say Marina, and even my neighbor would probably, well, not my neighbor neighbors, but around here in the county would be like, who? Like, so I'm not well known. So to have people, like, actually know me, and I have friends and people to talk to, that's that's really cool. Yeah. What denomination is your church? I'm, I'm not denominational. My nanny's church is a Pentecostal church, um, but I'm... You just call our denomination Jesus loving and leave it at that. I'm, I don't even, yeah. I, I'm not, I'm non-denominational, non-denomination, non-decimal. <laughs> You're not a decimal. <laughs> non-denomination. I just believe the Bible, and I believe it enough said to it was be their considered... Husband, the pest control man. But he was so yeah. nice. Like, he absolutely adores you. If you're here, his wife, he said nothing but the utmost, like, wonderful things oh. about that woman. I was like, man, she's she's blessed. Um, I'm non-denominational. I believe, I'm crazy enough to believe that every word in the Bible is true. Let every man be a liar, but God be the truth. I'm 100% positive every word is true. Um, and I don't get sucked up in theology because I'm the least of these. I do not know a whole lot. I do not know. And I'm constantly learning. And I'm constantly revising my theology. What, it comes what do down I have. to what's important. I went to a Bible institute and a, a seminary, but that doesn't mean nothing because I know people who went to a seminary and they can't tell their foot from their forehead. <laughs> so, <laughs> that guy. You know, I mean, I don't know. I, I can't. I don't like titles. People will say, well, if you got your license, you're a preacher. No, do not call me a preacher. Uh-uh, no, mm -mm. I, I don't like titles at all. I don't like apostles. I don't think God's looking for, I mean, I like apostles. <laughs> I don't like the title apostle. Favorite book me. of the Bible, go. To, favorite book of the Bible, Romans. Romans. Um, I don't like titles directed to me. I love directing titles to other people. Like if you're called apostle, if you're called bishop, if you're called pastor, Absolutely, 100 times respect that. But I don't want myself labeled because I'm just somebody who's very vocal about their love for Christ, and that's it. I'm if anything, call me the nobody. least of these because that's what I want to be called. I don't want to be anything spectacular. <sighs> I don't want anybody to see me a certain way. I just want to, when you leave my page, I want you to know that I love Jesus and that Jesus loves you, and that is it. We'll see y'all later. Do I still have it? We'll see y'all <laughs> later. God's not giving you the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. That's my favorite verse. Yeah. I still do have a P.O. box. Yeah. I actually, oh, let me show you. So we have a friend on here. Her name is Robin Austin. I set this over to the side so that I can show you guys. Her this name is, is Robin Austin, and she's an artist. So she does art by commission. And look what she did to my baby. No. <laughs> I squalled real tears. Like, I, my baby, Ooh, he's so pretty, he's got a little look. Yeah, I love it. Is that not the most, like, talented thing ever? Mr. Oh, Banks. Robin Austin, she has a Facebook, an Instagram. I a won't portrait share, art, artist. Yeah, I won't share her number because uh, she'd probably be getting a lot of calls. But uh, she does have an Instagram, a Pinterest, and a Facebook. And her name is Robin Austin, pet portrait art artist. I was blown away when I got that in the P.O. box. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, that's talent. So talent. So talented. Um, Mr. Bank. Banks. Mr. Bank. Bank Mr. Howard. Mr. Bank. Um, we call him Bank, too. <laughs> we, yeah, call him we call him Bank. Bank. <laughs> Tater calls him Bank. <laughs> we know Bank. <laughs> Bank. <laughs> Bank. You will play Bank. Oh. <clears throat> favorite verse. What's your favorite verse? My favorite verse. Mm. I've always loved, I can do all things through Christ with strength with me. Um, but I don't know. Our, our uh, household verse is the... For God hath not given me the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. That, that's become kind of our anthem uh, I here. I say it every day. I say it once yeah. a day. I'm still getting back to Christmas cards. I saw somebody <clears> say they haven't got, I haven't got back to theirs yet. I'm still getting back to them. I'm still getting Christmas cards. <laughs> Didn't we? We just went and picked up 50, 50 Christmas cards, not the other yeah, cards. Yeah, it was Christmas a lot. Christmas cards. Um, so I'm still getting back to them slowly. If you do get a Christmas card in the middle of March, April, May, June, July, I'm sorry. I just want to get caught up, and it's really hard because right now I have about 3,200 I have not gotten back to yet. We went and we sent out 200 of them. 
And we spent. It was at least two hundred dollars. It might have been more than two hundred. Yeah, because we spent two hundred dollars. Because it was a lot. <laughs> mailing them out, so I gotta yeah. kind of do that <laughs> in increments because it was getting very expensive. I've dropped over like fifteen hundred dollars on Christmas cards, and I'm not complaining because I love every minute of it. But I have to like budget it in. <laughs> I can't go just like drop fifteen hundred dollars <laughs> at the post office. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I promise I, I've got every single one that I have not gotten back to. I've got them all in a glad bag and I just pull random ones so that I'm not being unfair or anything. And I get back to them and I try to get back to the people who send me packages. I don't always get back to them because I, and I hate that because I, that just drives me nuts, but I don't have a place to store the packages, like the boxes whenever I get them to keep the address. So I'm thinking about like getting a notebook and writing down the address yeah, and what, what they sent so I can send them a thank you card. Cause I got to the point where I had empty boxes everywhere, all in my closet. And I was trying to keep them so I could get back to them. And I would only get back to a few a week and it was just, uh, it was everywhere. So I don't know how long I'll be keeping my PO box. I just, y'all send some really nice things. And I, I don't like taking from you guys. Um, I, I know that y'all get mad when I say that because last time I had my super chats on <laughs> and y'all were sending huge super chats and I was like, no, because I, I didn't mean to have it on. YouTube sent a big old mass thing and it was a big old thing. I don't, it's not that I don't care to have it on. I just, it, it caught me off guard that day. So I was really upset about that because I didn't, I don't ever want it to look like I want something from you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like if I go over to a friend's house and they say, okay, but I want you to buy this. Let, let me have three minutes of your time. <laughs> I want you to buy this. It's not going to feel very personal. It's not going to feel like a friend. So if somebody goes over there and they're basically they're saying, okay, the window's open for you to send something to me, but you don't have to. Like, it would just make me feel weird. And I want you to not feel like I want anything other than your time. Because um, that means <laughs> that's a soft spot. Because that, uh, well, that's hi, all that I want. Did you escape? <laughs> I think I'm done playing Did with you them. Escape? <laughs> I'm ready for food. You oh, whoa, 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 um, I just, whoa. I just want your time. And I feel like that's the most um, precious thing I can take from you, too, like, is your time. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I, you know... I, it's weird. I, I may. My P.O. Box is Fearfully Created, P.O. Box 1170, Dana, Tennessee, 37725. I, I don't know. I'll talk to you guys about um, it, it. It is easier to give than receive. I, I, I agree 100%. Oh. I'll talk to you guys about Super Chats later. I don't know. I don't know how y'all feel about it. I don't know how the majority feels about it. And for that alone, um... Uh, you know, for that long, I I, I want to know before I do anything. Uh -oh. I want to know. Run. I want to know what y'all have to say about it. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh. I have unsubscribed to others because they are in it for the money. Yeah, I mean. I, I see that from a different perspective because I always tell you, I was like, I don't mind MLMs and stuff or YouTubers who are in it for the money because I don't care to support their family as long as they're honest. Um, honesty is policy. So if you're in it for the money, let me know. So I don't feel like we have a different connection than what we do. And you're kind of manipulating me into paying, you know what I'm saying? So when it comes to MLMs, like people give them a hard time. And I, while I don't know how they work really, as long as I'm helping you support your family, I don't care what you're doing as long as it's legal. <laughs> as long as it's legal, just be honest about it. Um, that's what I tell everybody. I, I think because I don't do sponsorships and because I talk very often about not doing sponsorships because it is something that gets brought up a lot by you guys. I think people just automatically assume that I'm against sponsorships and I'm against people making money off YouTube. And that's not the case at all. I just want people to be honest with people. I don't want, you know, one bad apple and the whole batch is ruined. So you have one person who's in here and they're just, 
being dishonest about products and they're just money, 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 money. And they're not going about it a respectful <clears throat> way to their people. That's when I have issues because then if people see that, they'll see all YouTubers similarly. And I don't like that because there's a lot of us that aren't in it for the money. It helps our families tremendously. Like I tell y'all all the time, I have people in here who literally watch the entire ads just because they think it will help me financially. Like we don't even know. I don't even know if watching the whole ad helps any more than not watching the ad and these people watch the ads i make my ads skippable for a reason i don't want y'all sitting through a boring butt ad if you don't want to um but these people sit there and watch these boring ads just in case i get revenue from it he was mad that's he wanted what, to find spider-man on oh, disney and he couldn't find it that's what <clears throat> people do because this is more important than money in my pocket you know like that's more important than money in my pocket i don't I don't know. I just, that, I see that differently, you know? I see it differently. Um, yeah, the ad, see, I don't know if, if you get more money off of watching the full ads or not. I know that's a big theory in the YouTube world. YouTubers often think that they get more money, um, if the ad is watched all the way through. You can make your ad skippable, um, so it kind of, I don't want to say forced because that's not the right word, but it makes somebody watch the whole ad before they can move on to the rest of the video. <coughs> I don't like non-skippable <coughs> ads, so I'm not going to put them, get your money, <laughs> I'm not going to put them on mine, because I don't like, if I see a non-skippable ad, I get so mad, <laughs> I, I'm like, I want to know what this person is saying, especially when, um, like, this person is talking, and they're being like, you know, it feels like friends, like, I've been sitting there listening to them talk for 15 minutes, and, like, I've made this connection with somebody, and I'm like, Wow, and then I have to sit through an ad, and I lose that connection because I have ADHD, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> like, I just wanted to know what you had to say, especially when they put a non-skippable right in front of, like, a mic drop or something. I'm like, what's this person going to say? And I'm sitting here watching a Purina dog chow <laughs> ad, and I'm oh, like, that's what the worst. <laughs> Me and uh, Colt are watching a documentary <laughs> um, on it's like a way of life over in like iran or something like that and it, it's kind of like a very solemn video and no lie like we were sitting there and just kind of like getting into it and then all of a sudden it cuts and it's a tiktok uh ad with like these like dog heads on like uh -uh. president bodies and stuff like that and i was like well that just killed the mood entirely you can't change what <laughs> ads go on your channel so like you have no say in that whatsoever so you could be talking about a death in the family or something very somber and all of a sudden you get a twerking donald trump come up on here I don't know about you. Like, I haven't had that pop up on mine. I had a twerking Donald Trump the other day, and I was like, "What is this?" Mine bombarded <laughs> last month. It kept bombarding me with Kirby. It was like Kirby, this Kirby. I was like, "I'm tired of Kirby. <laughs> Stop telling me Kirby." <laughs> <coughs> oh man. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Well, I've, I went and picked up a ton of Christmas cards, and I've gotten through so many of them. So many of them. Um, I, try, I would love to support with Super Chat, but don't trust the companies handling money. That's another thing. I don't know how it works. Um, I know that I get a percentage of it, but I watched this one feller, and he gets, gosh, uh, so many of them, but... He was trying to explain how they work, and as far as he said, this isn't from, like, the fine print, but as far as he said, you get a large percentage of it, and then the other parts go into, like, YouTube's... Resources. Pot of gold. Oh. That makes sense. <clears throat> Hand up if watching Marina and her family changed your life for the better in some way. See that. Why I do what I do. <clears throat> no amount of money compares to somebody saying, Marina, you changed my thought process. Or, oh my gosh, I got a letter in the mail and I started saying I squalled. Because they were like, they sent me a picture. <clears throat> and I saw me and them so much because they're a younger person. They're like in their 20s, I think. Mm -hmm. And they have blue hair. And I, I saw myself back like so many years ago when I had blue hair. But I saw a lot of myself in them because they were talking about, like, how I was motivating them to keep their room clean and to love life and love family. 
and they said, you've changed my mind about God. And that is the thing that gets, it feels like a good punch in the gut every time I hear that because that's, he's been demonized so much by people. So many people. Who put, stamp his name on their actions and they're not good actions. And everybody sins. Everybody falls. But I try to take his name on my life so seriously. His name is all over this channel. I want to take it so seriously because I don't want to ever do an injustice to God and how people see God. So that, when somebody says that, I lose it. I lose every bit of it. Like I, I can't hold it together because that is my goal. Like I just want people to see him the way that I see him. And he is good and he is kind and he is loving. And he is holy. <laughs> He's absolutely holy. Yeah. But he will love you no matter where you are at. You are never in a position where God does not love you. Even if you hate him, you blaspheme him, you spit on his name, you are never in a position, never, no matter where you are, that he does not love you. He loves you no matter where, whether you're struggling <clears throat> with whatever sin where you're struggling with whatever. I mean, he loves you. And that's what I want people to know. That's why I love people where they're at. I get called a snowflake on here all the time. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, you're a snowflake because you preach a love in Jesus and only a love in Jesus. No, 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 no. I talk about a holy God. He is holy and he is righteous. But my righteousness is his filthy rags. Might drop. Like my righteousness, mm -mm. I will love you right where you're at because he loved me when I was an adulterer. He loved me when I was a thief. I was a liar. He loves me when I was the dirt on the ground. There was nothing good about me. Nothing. Nothing good about me. And he loved me. He met me when I was out of my mind. I was out of my mind. I remember one time, oh my gosh, I was never a big drinker. But I, I was drinking. I was spiraling. I was spiraling. He met me while I was drinking. And you go to church and you say something like that. And people are like, mm, no, no, <gasps> oh, no, no, no. He did. He did. And that moment that he met me when I was drinking like that is what completely transformed. Completely transformed. He met me in the floor after a attempt. He didn't meet me at the altar of a church. He does meet people there all the time. But he didn't meet me there. He met me in the floor after a attempt. That's the kind of God I want to tell you about. That's the kind of God that I am completely sold out to, completely in love with, completely 100% infatuated with. That's my God. My Jesus will meet you where you're at. My Jesus will go to the ends of the earth. He will chase you down to get to where you're at so that he can show you that these people over here, they only know how to, they say his name and they say that they're, they're of him, and they very well might be, but they can't love like Jesus until they take over the heart of him and put it in their own and transform their heart like he, let him transform their heart. They don't know how to love like him. You cannot physically love somebody in a holy way, in a righteous way, in a full-heartedly unconditional way unless your heart is transformed by God. There's no way. I've tried. You cannot. It has to be completely transformed by God. And then you can love that person where they're at. Then you can love the person who stole from you. Then you can love the person who took from you. Then you can love the person who lied on you, who ran your name through the mud, who cheated on you, did all those things. That's when you can really love them to the point that God loves you, right? Because you can't. Physically, my heart won't let me. I am a human that is in a fallen world Given free will, but even free will alone cannot make me love somebody the way that God loves them unless I allow him to transform my heart. Favorite, favorite wax melt. I really, really like <laughs> <laughs> the sage and I had it in my wax warmers uh, yesterday. The sage and coconut? Is it sage? It's a mainstay. Sage and coconut. Coconut. It's a mainstay. <clears throat> um... Oh, I saw something about pseudotumor cerebri. Are you seeing any difference? Ooh, will you plug it in? Yeah. With the weight loss. Um, pseudotumor cerebri. If you, if, I know from experience, losing weight really fast triggered mine. Completely triggered mine. When I lost 100 pounds, <clears throat> I had such a big trigger with the pseudotumor cerebri that I went partially blind. Didn't I? Yeah. And my headaches got worse and... 
the numbness that you feel sometimes in your face and in your hands came in with a vengeance. So whenever I lose weight fast, that happens. But when I use it, when I lose weight gradually, it gets better. I've noticed that. The heavier I am, the more I struggle with my pseudotumor. The pseudotumor I had in Jesus' name. I don't have it no more. I saw that coming. In Jesus' name. I saw it coming. Hello from Oklahoma. Oh, I love the cashmere and amber one. I have that one in there. I love it so much. It is so cozy. It is so cozy. Like, it smells, and it makes your house smell up really good, too. I will be near y'all next month taking my kids to Dollywood. Ooh. Have fun. Marina, though, I am shocked. I'm also proud of you. You are incredibly brave to admitting all <clears throat> of your faults. I'm pretty honest with myself, but you are my honesty girl. Uh, it's a fault. <laughs> I it's mean, it's a, a fault. it's a good thing, but I can be so honest. Um, I don't have dignity. <laughs> I really don't. I have none, and that's why I don't get embarrassed. Um, I don't know. What's the definition of dignity? Look it up real quick. Dignity? Yeah. Um, isn't it like um, how I'm you see honest yourself? to a fault. Like, before I allow you to see me in a way that does not actually exist or to perceive me in a way that doesn't actually exist, I'm going to tell you exactly who I am up front. And a lot of times that's why people are like, nope, never mind. <laughs> Backing out. The state or quality of being worthy of honor or respect. Yeah, well, no, respect. One thing. I shouldn't say that, but I really... A sense well, of, it can also be a sense of pride. I think I that's how dignity. most people use it. I don't it. have dignity. Um, I mean, prideful dignity. I don't have pride, I should say. Pride, pride. I don't have pride. You better be proud of the husband you're with. In regards to me. <laughs> I don't have pride in regards to me. Um, <clears throat> are they okay? Because I'm not hearing it. Oh, yeah, they're sitting there watching Spider-Man. Um... Water. Drinking water. Right so, like, that's why I can't water. get embarrassed with stuff. <laughs> it's up there. <laughs> that's why I can't get embarrassed with stuff. Because it doesn't... Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. When are we redoing the laundry room? As soon as I get the right half of my living room... Well, if you're from the kitchen, right half. If you're from the hallway, left half <clears throat> of my living room. And my table done. I want to do my table. Someone wants to give, then they will. Yeah, I don't. I don't want. You know, I don't want to stop them. I don't know. I'll talk to you guys. Uh, maybe do a poll or something. See what the majority of you guys say about stuff like that. Go, girl. Hey, for from Georgia. Prayers for a couple alcoholics. Yes, in Jesus' name. We'll definitely be praying. Wow, they're going fast. Yeah, today. it's fine. <laughs> What's my PO box? Uh, fearfully created. P.O. Box 1170, Danridge, Tennessee, 37725. When someone gives you a blessing, no matter what the blessing is, always accept because the Lord spoke to them to give it. See, I'm convicted now. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, I, I, so, I just feel like. You just break out in a song, isn't you? <laughs> like I said, one apple can ruin a whole batch, and. People are so alert now when it comes to YouTubers. They're on alert, and they're constantly looking for the next YouTuber that's going to change. I get comments all the time that say, I've changed. And I want to be like, how? Because <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still... You're right. I'm still I have large. changed through the blood of Jesus. <laughs> still large and in charge. <laughs> still a hot mess. Like, I, I mean, I... I don't know how I've changed, but if I have, I hope it's for the better. But people are constantly on the lookout for their favorite YouTuber to change or their favorite YouTuber to show their true colors or something like that. So I like to stay far away from things that benefit only me. You know what I mean? Like, whenever I've got ads on there, you guys have the option to skip them if you don't want to watch them. But it's not me personally trying to sell you something, you know? It's not got my name on it. And I'm not asking you for money. So, I'm struggling with that. But I know what you're saying. I know what's a me problem. <clears throat> I just don't. So many people have already said that I've changed. And if I have, I haven't meant to. But I don't, I mean, I don't think that I have. I, we can be living <laughs> in a... <laughs> when did you change? Maybe your underwear? <laughs> I didn't even somebody, change that. That's like, what he said. Like, if I'm being honest with you guys, we could have went and bought a $700,000 house. 
but I want my kids to have savings accounts and I want to be in the right headspace because <clears throat> new money is money that has gone very fast. And just because it's there now does not mean it's going to be there later. And I'm not about to go get my family in a pickle because I was in a pickle before I started YouTube. Like, before I started YouTube, I don't want to get myself into another pickle. So, I, I mean, has my income changed? Yes, drastically. But me, I'm still me on the inside. I still, I mean, I try not, I still cook the same. I, don't, I, I measure now. Thank That's goodness, a good I thing. love your food. I measure. I used to not measure. Wow. Well. That's, a, that's another thing. It's like, <laughs> I always want to be like, when they say it in a negative way, I'm like, that's one thing that I like to always address because I get neg negative comments frequently, very often. Not a whole, not, when it comes in a whole, it's so nice comments, such nice comments, kind comments, encouraging comments, amazing comments. And then the other portion is like criticism, but it's nice criticism. Someone I mean, brought up the four cups of flour. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> um, uh, you know, nice criticism, criticism, just criticism. But a portion is hateful comments and hateful criticism. And I don't know. the Those don't bother me as... They don't bother me at all. But the ones that do bother me is the I've changed because I just don't know how. And if I have, it hasn't been intentionally. And if I have, I mean, I would like to think it's been for the better. I, I would like to think I'm a better person now than I was back in 2020 when I first started this channel. I was crazy. I was still kind of crazy, but I was really crazy. Crazy. <clears throat> but, yeah, we do learn from our mistakes. I learn from mine all the time. I'm me. That's that's what it comes down to. If I've changed, I, I, I'm not going to say I haven't. I, if I think I have, I'm not going to say I haven't. But, regardless, I'm me. I'm I can't fake being somebody else. I tried to do that a long time ago. You can't spell Marina without well. me. You can't. I can't. There you go. Yeah, I, I tried to. It's imp it's physically impossible for me to be anything other than what I am. <clears throat> You're going through the journey of life. <sighs> Someone call me Patsy. <laughs> <laughs> Mobile home in Washington State. Ah, oh, do you love yours as much as I love mine? I love mine. I, I have such a strong connection to this mobile home, and I won't leave because in this mobile home, I have not been a bad person. I have not, not one time in this mobile home been a bad person. I've been who I am after Jesus since being in this mobile home. I love it here. It has nothing but good memories. I think we all <clears throat> have all been on the crazy train once or twice. Crazy. And pray for Micah. I'm over here praying room. for somebody. You're singing all y'all's words. They said crazy. Living up people. Now who's singing it? <coughs> <coughs> Hello from Virginia. <laughs> somebody said Ozzy. Are you planning on getting some land one day? Yes. I would love to. I would love to. Um, mobile home in Idaho. Listen, mobile homes get a lot of negative stuff said about them but i love them i mean they're when it comes to tornadoes and stuff i can't take up for them because i mean they will fly <laughs> they will fly oh, i thought you were saying you couldn't take up for the tornado <laughs> no, the, the i want to take up for him but you know he's but, just so windy <laughs> <laughs> but as far as like being living here oh my god this is the prettiest house i've ever had prettiest house i've ever had hey from iowa Oh, do you like Hobby Lobby wax? I don't. I don't think I've ever got Hobby Lobby wax. Yeah, I'm not thinking is it that. good? Is it good? We have two thousand square foot manufactured home, Ooh, and I love it. I bet it. it's gorgeous. I bet it is gorgeous. Hey, Hashtag from West, Ver West Virginia, Mountain Mama. Don't wait for you look at me. <laughs> Take me home. You started it off. Yeah, listen, if you country ever start that song, you gotta start it off with country road. Do more cooking shows, they said, Shane. <sighs> Only if, if you really want it. Y'all remember when I first started my channel, it was all about cooking. It was all about cooking. Country road. <clears throat> take me home. Zero debt. That's the goal. Good job. Because I know that's really hard. The zero debt is the goal and and better money management i'm constantly getting trying to get better with my money management. Yeah, yeah. my money management used to suck and it's still not like 
Dave Ramsey approved. But it is better than it was. <clears throat> Make Hello from Coachella Valley. Coachella? Yeah. Like the show or the place? Well, that's coming up. Uh, you keep up with Coachella? You see ads on YouTube all the time for it. Okay. Remember, Jolie used to go on about it. Coachella. Jolie would. Jolie, when she, she was super little, she'd have her sunglasses on and she'd have a little purse in her hand. She'd say, "All right, everyone, I'm leaving. I'm going to Coachella." When is Shane going to retire? I think the retirement age in Tennessee is like sixty-five. Retire when my arms fall off. <laughs> I think the retirement is like 65. I think. 65? Or it might be. Might have went up. Might have, might have been 70. Oh, David, Ramsey has an app? What? Uh, I did not know that. For Shane, 67. Hey, Pam. What is Shane's I'm going to have to look favorite? up that Dave Ramsey app. What is my favorite comic book character? Are you asking me? Yeah. Daredevil. Yeah, he's my second. Who's my first? Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. Everyone loves Spider-Man. That was a lucky yes. Yeah. Hello from Kentucky. Mobile home living as well. Love you guys. Did you see come out in Jesus' name in theaters? Mm -hmm. It was awesome. I didn't, but I saw a bunch of TikToks about it. I'll see. You're I have friends who went to see it, too. Your house is pretty because you and Shane have made it that way. I didn't get to see the rest of it. That's that's what I love about it is every bit of this home has his hands on it. So, like, it makes it super Oh, it has his hands on it. <laughs> it has his hands. <laughs> if we just relied on me, it would just go. <laughs> let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. It's like Jesus is over here watching me because, you know, he was a carpenter, right? And I'm sure he sees me, like, drilling stuff together and he's going. <laughs> and he's over here, and he's probably got his, like, holy super glue. <laughs> just, behind, like, while I'm over here sawing something, he's going. At least gives you some horsies. Everybody always calls me and just says, get that man some horsies. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Lukey. <laughs> I do it every last year. I don't know why you're looking shocked. Ow. Let's see. Shane, what do you do for a living? He's in... Fire, it's a mouthful. No, go on, say it. Answer my question. Fire suppressant system technician. specialist. Technician. Oh, technician. <laughs> he goes back and forth. I mean, I'll technician. Take specialist. Specialist. Specialist, specialist sounds more official. Sound very official. I'm mm -hmm. a specialist. Favorite pizza. Oh, pepperoni all day. Hello. Uh, I went to see his only son. I saw uh, a preview or a trailer for that today. Don't his do only what? son. Don't do what? Hmm? They said don't do that. Don't do what? I don't know. What are we doing? What are we how doing? old are you, Shane? I don't know. How old are you? I don't know. We, we, Thanks for making me spit my good. tea. <laughs> Like Hobby Lobby wax. Oh, they. I don't know, Darlene. I don't know what Hobby Lobby wax is. Is it like smelling wax or like craft wax? The Chosen. Oh, yeah, I love the chosen. my kids can jam out to the Chosen. We need to get the Chosen soundtrack. We still haven't watched season mm -hmm. three. I want to watch season three. What is Lake your favorite Cash. place? Tavi Island. Uh, yeah, yeah, Tavi. Lacey. Tavi's fun. Um. Y'all are going... Hi oh. from Canada. Hi from Chattanooga. My eyes are crossing. Mm -mm -mm. Hi from Kentucky. Enjoy watching y'all sharing your everyday life with us. Thank you. Stop I right now and go watch season... Th okay, they said it. I'm out. <laughs> you brought me back. <laughs> I always feel like whenever I go to make a video, I'm like, is this going to bore these people to tears? <laughs> But it's something that I want to show, so I, I post it. I wanted to see Jesus Revolution. We didn't get to see that. Is it still in theaters? Every dollar. Okay, I'm going to remember that. I'm going to write down my own pen. Love you guys. So glad you're doing more videos. If we moved to land, we would expand our current yeah. home. It would be turned into a literal mobile mansion. Let's see. Hi from Maine. 
Lynn, y'all are blessings to me. You really are. You're so, like, I have no words whenever I talk about y'all. Let's see. I use every dollar I'm gonna, game changer. I'm going to write that down. You have the giggles. <laughs> Arkansas. 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 <laughs> Oh, Just so they put Jesus on, TV? on Apple TV. Okay, Ooh. so we're, we're going to have to watch that. What are we picking your brains about? Whatever you want to. Nobody's really picked my brains about anything uh, except uh, for um, I mean, if there's anything the up algorithm. The, the algorithm. <laughs> um, I meant it was referring to me. Oh, the algorithm, forgiveness, self-forgiveness. What else did they pick my brain about? My favorite song. Why... You have accepted the name Magenta Princess. No. Nope. Super chat. Next time, maybe consider having super chats and stickers. I had those last time. I talked about them earlier. I had them last time, but I I might have kept them on if it hadn't took me by surprise because I, I didn't know they were on whenever I put it on. So I started seeing all the super chat. And it took me a minute to register what was happening. And then I was like, uh, <laughs> you know, like freaking out because I, I, I don't know. I wasn't prepared. So I turned them off then because I I hadn't talked to you guys about putting them back on. And I don't do anything on this channel without the majority talking about it with me. So like I ne I used to have a wish list and I would not I did it at first and then I took it down and I would not put it back up until the majority said it was okay. And they said it was okay, so I put it back up. But then it, I was getting so much stuff that I literally was stocked with body wash and stuff for a year. So I, I shut it down because I didn't want to take advantage. I mean you know what I mean? So, Gina, that means the world to me. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. Growing my, okay, recommendations on growing my faith and influencing my kids to do the same. Lead by example. That's what I did with my kids. I lead by example. My kids, and I can say this confidently, are the kindest, most big-hearted, most loving children you will ever meet. My kids are respectful to other people. They know boundaries when it comes to other people. And they will always go for the person that doesn't have anybody around them. So, like, out and about, my kids are, like, oh, they notice things. They're like, oh, that person doesn't have anybody to play with. I'm going over there. Like, that's how they are, and that's because I've led by example. Thankfully, my girls, I'm, I changed my life around right after the girls were born. So, they grew up with a mama like this. Colton, I had to do some reconstructing, um, but he's always been a good-hearted kid. Yeah, he's always, got a great heart I just had to. He just had to learn to follow me as I led by example. Because for a longer, a, the longest time, I didn't lead by example. So leading by example is a huge thing. Um, if I expect them to keep their space clean, I better keep mine clean. If not, then I better not expect them to keep theirs any clean than any cleaner than I keep mine. If I don't want them to raise their voice, then I better not raise my voice. Otherwise, I'm just expecting them to do something that I can't do myself. So that's how I kind of go by it. <clears throat> Lead by example. I have conversations with my kids. Um, my discipline, I'm not, as far as discipline goes, it's talking. We sit down. We talk. That's it. We have family meetings. That's it. And my kids are the most well-behaved kids on the planet. Uh, they are amazing. They're amazing. In the restaurants, in the stores, they're amazing. <clears throat> Will I have any more kids? I was like, on you. Oh, no. I was, like, giving it to silence. Like, I was I was going to let that marinate for a minute. Um, I will be praying. Praying for a baby. Absolutely, I'll be praying for you. Um... <clears throat> I want to finish my living room makeover. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to finish my living room makeover. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks. I have home making videos. I'm going to post this next week. Um, because I really want to do that fly lady. Oh, I almost said fly leaf again. Fly, fly leaf, leaf. Fly lady video. I can feel you I've been planning right. that one for months. And I keep telling Shane I'm going to do it. And I haven't done it yet. So I want to do that. Oh, thank you for hitting the thumbs button, thumbs button up, a thumbs up button. <laughs> um, yeah, what was I talking about? That baby's one threw me off. Yeah, the the baby one yeah. got you, didn't it? You got me. Um, 
You didn't answer the question they said. They're going to grill you now. So, They're coming for you. If you go over to my Weight Watchers app, you will see why I'm trying to lose weight. I have it in the bio. <clears throat> hey, from Knoxville. Oh. This prayer is for a sweet baby sent straight from heaven. Hello, Shane and Marina. Do you find it difficult to come up with fresh content? No, because I just do what I I, I want to share. So, like, my con I, I worry sometimes if my content will ever get repetitive. And I wonder sometimes why people watch. <laughs> but I, I just post what I enjoy. And that's how I've been able to stay so consistent with posting for the past two years. I literally just, I, I wake up and I'm like, I would really like to bring them along with me during this day. It's just a homemaking day in the life. But a lot of the people who watch me, watch me for that reason alone. My people either have come from the mobile home makeovers or they've come for the homemaking everyday life stuff. So I have a happy medium there that I, I just, well, they like allow a, me to just do whatever I, I want to do and they, and they still show up. And you have like 2% that comes for this. You think they come from that. <laughs> they come from this. You just ready to joy. Thank you. I'm very happy. Wisconsin in the house. <clears throat> Shane is my MVP. <laughs> See? They're part of the 2%. <laughs> You're part of the 2.2%. <laughs> okay, you just gave me more. Shane can find someone better who will treat him like he deserves. You want to answer that one? Or uh, talk back okay. that one? I don't think that was a question. So, respectfully, I will decline. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it the minute you said respectfully. No. No. <laughs> Shane has... I have who listen, I want. I'm not holding Shane hostage. <laughs> Shane has every right to go. Listen. But I can about guarantee you. Let me, let me. Let no, hold on. I, what do I always say? Tell him what I always say. If you can catch him. <laughs> if you can catch me, you can have me. Because he's going to be running. Yeah. He's going to be going like a fart in the wind. <laughs> All right. No, no, no. Hear me out. Hear me <clears throat> out. Okay? Hear me out. Okay? <laughs> in love, okay, you have ups and downs. And you have to learn to love through the ups and through the downs. And there's yeah, it's, it's okay. amazing rewards at the end. I'm just saying. I mean, if you can catch him, you can keep him. He's going to be Oh, my goodness. In. Ain't nobody can catch me. I'm fast. Let me tell you what. I'm a fast, like, Views on public man. school. If you like, I mean, if public school works for you, then I'm, I'm not against public school. Public school didn't work for me as a kid, and it caused me a lot of issues. So I just, I knew always that I wanted to homeschool my kids. And me and Shane talked about it, and he was like, yeah, I want to homeschool our kids. So, we that's what we went with, but I'm, it's not that I, I want to demonize um, public school because it can. I mean, it, people there's people who they can't homeschool because they maybe their mamas that work and stuff. Taylor couldn't you know? catch him. <laughs> <laughs> run on for a long time. <laughs> you run, run on for a long time. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. It's okay. It's all good. All love up in here. We love people. I especially love my wife. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> we love people. Oh, goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. I can't. It's going by. Hold on. I think we're behind again. Let's see. Hi from Utah. Um. I miss oh. you, friend. Where have you been? The best I, place to that? find the spot. I don't know. It's going so fast. I, I can't. I think it's catching no, up. No, I'm not going to ignore. By time? I'm not going to ignore um, comments like that. Because, I mean, I, I'm trying to. I, I show them the same respect as I show everybody else. If they want to say that, they have every right to say that. I'm not going to stop them from saying that. If they're wrong. <laughs> but they have the right to say it. He's going to get feisty with it. <laughs> but, but I'm not going to stop them. <laughs> I show them respect. Regardless of if they show me respect or not, I still think they deserve respect. So I'm going to answer a question. I'm going to answer it non-condescendingly, non-hatefully, um, just like I would anybody else's question. That's just, I mean, my favorite hobby. What is your favorite hobby? Reading. Reading. She loves reading. reading. And studying the Bible. I really like studying the Bible. Yeah. I just read the book of Enoch, and it was like... <laughs> I... Told Shane about it, it. Have you guys ever seen the meme of the guy with the whiteboard behind him and he's like got the lines pointing to all the different things? That was Marina during the time of reading <laughs> the book of Enoch. Here I am coming into the angels bedroom. Are stars. <laughs> there are 200 angels. <laughs> and I'm saying, what? 
<laughs> they were put on the earth as watchers. I just want to get fell in, the in love with women. Like <laughs> I read it with a grain of salt, but it did. It was very interesting. Um, Let's see. Uh, it's going so fast I, I can't know. read it. I'm you spinning guys. my head around. It's, High listen, from I'm not going peninsula. to. I'm not going to censor people. If now, if they uh, start talking, I have censored people who uh, say things about like my family and stuff because my family, like, I no, mm -mm. you can talk about me all day long, and I will not block you. I will let you talk, talk, talk till you <coughs> run out of voice. But not when when you bring nanny into it and and them into it. Mm -mm. No, I'm gonna love you from a distance. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, I like Christian fiction. I like regular fiction. I like adult fiction, adult romance, but you like mild, that romance. mild adult romance. Um, like I, I just I can't get into the other. I just can't, you know. I just like mild adult romance. To, uh, romance. You're so cringy. I know. <laughs> What's your favorite color? <clears throat> I'm blue. I like blue. I just read the book of Enoch. Oh, they were saying it too. I just read the book of Enoch as... And it okay. helped them understand things. I saw it. It went I away. Saw it. I saw it. it. disappeared. Come back. In the Bible. Yeah, okay, so yeah, it does back up a lot in the Bible. It does. It does go off like to the side and do its own thing too, but it does, it, it, it does kind of align with the Bible. What's your favorite home care? <clears throat> Like, what do you mean? Facility? Or? I don't think that's what they meant. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> like, home care facility? Or, like, home care item? <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, home care products. Okay. Um, home care products. I like method products a lot, but I've been using vinegar and Dawn and hot water to clean the house with. So, but I still love my method stuff. I, I think somebody told me method was all natural. How far are you from Gatlinburg? Just to hop in the jump around the corner? Um, <clears throat> a set of paperback books. I will. I didn't see it. What? I, I it was saying something oh. about paperback books. Paperback writer. Writer. Can we it's please put something on the new room living room shelf beside the, the TV? Yeah, I'm waiting on putting a third shelf up, though. We got to do that. That's another part of the living room makeover, and then I'm going to put something on there. I'm not just going to leave them. I thought about leaving them void because I leave my mantle void. Um, but, yeah, I, I think something needs to go up there, too. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Don't go riding on that long black train. Mm. I see. What is a book in the Holy Bible? Mm. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Did you see that option it just gave me? <laughs> I got to put time out. I can put somebody in time out. <laughs> Get in the corner. It, it, it literally <laughs> says stop. No, you can't meet them that, with that kind of energy. Okay. You, Get in um, the it literally says put so and so in time out. I don't know why it says that. Uh, <clears throat> what we're not going to do is meet them with you. that kind of energy. Get in the corner. <clears throat> yeah, well, hello, Sugar Burger. The, we're still going to do the other channel. I'll see. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I put her in time out. Every time we it, go to the Ross. The, I love how they the think about Ross. what you done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even what? know what I just did. It just said put so and so on time out, so I did. Uh, nobody puts baby in corner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> time out, you go. <laughs> okay. And that's what it's saying. Anyway. I'm just saying I read it. <clears throat> All right. I tried reading the Bible once. I just. Man. Oh, where'd that go? I tried. I couldn't understand it. Bible. I'm going to have to give it another shot. It can be because of the translation. Translation you know. can have a whole point of that. But another good thing to do before you read the Bible is pray. Thank you, blessed girl. Yes. Is pray and ask God to kind of like 
open up your eyes and <clears throat> open up your understanding. I say the reading. Ross. <clears throat> what is a book in the Holy Bible you want to talk about? Ooh, listen, Shane can talk Job. Job. Out like Excuse crazy. Me, sorry. Uh, Job. <laughs> um, <laughs> the Ross. I'll always love the Gospels. <laughs> You, you gotta love the Gospels. Um, Hosea. Uh, and I love the King era. So, like, when you're in uh, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, I love that era of the different kings. Yeah. Those are really interesting. Uh, the David era. I love all that. Um, yeah. There's a lot. Updates on the podcast. I'm waiting on a green light. Yeah, I still have the P.O. Box. It's fearfully created. P.O. Box 1170, Danard, Tennessee at 37725. At 37725. <laughs> Love Ephesians. Mm-hmm. Podcast. I, I mentioned earlier I'm waiting on the green light. I just, I, I know I'm supposed to do it. I know we're supposed to do it. But I just, it's like... I can't get past that wall yet, and I know not to force it. So it's there, and it's waiting on whatever God wants to do with it. Um, There's no prayer before you read the Bible, because you can lose your mind. Yeah, definitely pray for... um, The Bible says that Scripture, all Scripture is given for reproof and correction and instruction. And you always want to pray that the Holy Spirit opens your mind so that you can see things from a heavenly perspective because it's the same as you can't worship without worshiping in spirit and in truth. You don't, you can't read the Bible unless reading it in spirit. Somebody in said truth. that there's three chosen devotionals? Yeah. I've got the first two. I don't have the third one. I didn't know there's a third one. Well, you got yours from Hobby Lobby, didn't you? Yeah, I found them at Hobby Lobby. Mm-hmm. I've read the first one all the way through, and I'm actually rereading it. Not all of us actively trying to find your Weight Watchers bio. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, there are three. I have to find that third one. I didn't know there was well, a third one. New Living Translation. See, I come from an era where everybody's like, King James Version is a, no- is a yes, and the rest are a no. But I'm like... But the King James Version was was translated in 1611, which is the King James Version that people read from now. It was 1611 King James Version, and it was transferred it was transferred from something. I mean, you know? Yeah. So as long as it doesn't veer off and it's not missing any scriptures If it's not or taking like that, the blood out of the book. The blood. You know, that's that's what you're looking <laughs> for. But, I mean, but if it's a simple works thing for you, of taking whatever. the thighs and thous out, I Listen, understand that. Whatever works for you. I read all sorts of translations. All of them. Yep. We got translations from the original Hebrew We use ace paces. Yep. I got, I, I read from the Hebrew and the Greek. That's what I do. I mean, obviously I can't read the Hebrew and the Greek, yep. but I read translations directly. It's supposed directly to be like a direct translation. From the Hebrew and the Greek. And it's, it's interesting to see. It's very interesting. Whenever we do the podcast, I'll definitely be talking about that. Um, David Maybe Jeremiah. Jeremiah. He's a good Shane likes him. Shane goes more for the, what do you go for, preacher-wise? We have way different tastes. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I don't have a particular mm-hmm. style that I like. I, what I, because I, I'm of the mindset that God uses, the same way that there's different genres of different things, God uses a different genre of Absolutely. preacher to deliver a Absolutely. different type of message. So, you know, there's, there's some preachers out there that they will be fiery. But what they're preaching is legit. And I got to sit there and be like, okay, okay, you know. And then there's some that they're more laid back. And what they're saying is, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, so it's it's based you on. You like David Jeremiah. I like David like Jeremiah. Um, that one feller. What's his name? Uh, Greg Laurie. Yeah, he likes Greg, like Laurie, Greg Laurie. So he likes a totally different. But, that, but that's on, a, like, I, I like him. Um, but I would say that. What are you doing? Do you smell that? No. Well, thank you for throwing this. <laughs> it off. smells like smoke. I don't smell smoke. <clears throat> <laughs> but, um. Sorry, you might go on. I like them. Um.
I do like Tom. Love you, Tina. Good night. Tommy Bates is really good. Uh, yeah, see, my, like my go-to's Tommy Bates, Perry Stone. I know a lot Perry of people. Perry Stone. Oh, a lot okay, of people I love have Perry their Stone. thoughts on Perry Stone. I, I'm, I love He's him. an out-of-the-box thinker. His spirit, he's actually one that led me to Jesus. And I went to church with a lot of different people, a lot of different preachers, all of which do not really like Perry Stone. <laughs> Perry Stone's the one that got to me. So I have nothing but respect for that man. Um... Tommy Bates. I love David Diga Hernandez. He's here he's on good. YouTube. Oh, like he's him. his spirit is so good. You know, yeah, he's so I like kind. Him. <clears throat> um, yeah, we're still alive. We're still here. Love Perry Stone. Yeah, a lot of people don't agree with me when I say I like Perry Stone. I do. I do. I like him a lot. You would never run from the magenta princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my little magenta oh, princess. I wouldn't even go for like Sapphire Queen. I mean. Magenta well, that's not, that's not like exalting yourself. I don't want to be Magenta Princess. <laughs> I want to be the Sapphire Queen. <laughs> I love it we've been on here. Hey, uh, Charles mm. Stanley. He's good. Mm. You met Tommy Bates? I go I've, I've several we've times. We've seen him. I've been there several times. Yeah, I've been we've in seen service him. with him several times. Yeah, he has really good music. Elton Glasses. Mm-hmm. The Sapphire Queen. Two, have I been live for two hours? Oh my goodness. Chip Ingram. We usually usually you know go about Ingram? two to three hours every time. Every time. Do you know Chip Ingram? Chip Ingram? I'm not familiar with I that don't name. think so. Hmm. Paul Begley. <laughs> I know who Paul Begley is. <laughs> <clears throat> favorite cartoon growing up. I didn't have a favorite cartoon. I had a favorite show and it was Pappy. Do y'all remember Pappy? Pappy, we, you remember Pappy do we it. searched for that. He's to and Pappy Land, and you too can do it when you're in Pappy Land. Somebody please tell me they know what I'm talking about. My favorite TV show. Pappy, Pappy do it. It was either going to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Batman the Animated Series. you too can do it. Joel Austin? I don't know who Joel Austin is. Let's see. You guys are so fabulous. Excited to see you live. Thank you. That's nice. <clears throat> I don't ever know how to answer when y'all say stuff like that. Because I don't want to be like, oh, thank you. <laughs> you know? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> Y'all are the kindest people ever. Hey... Have you seen the YouTube channel Straight Talk? No, I haven't. I haven't seen the YouTube channel Straight Talk. I need to remember that. I'm trying to remember that and the Dave Ramsey app name. Hi from Arkansas. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Nanny likes Jimmy Swagger. Yeah. <laughs> um. Thank you. Falcon, I love you. <clears throat> um, don't be scared to start a channel. Uh, just be ready. Be prepared. Um, if you can't take criticism and criticism is going to put you in a bad headspace, wait till you can take criticism because you're absolutely inevitably going to get criticism when you put yourself out there online. Um, there's going to be people who will disagree with you. You've got to know what you believe and why you believe it and stand firm in that. And just have fun over anything. Don't make it about money right off the bat because you'll be very disappointed. Just have fun. And if your goal is to be financially stable through it, then you pursue that with all your heart. But be honest about it. And if it's just to have friends and have an outlet, then pursue that with all your heart. Be honest about it. Um, just definitely... That's why I always tell people, when they ask me if they should start a channel, I always say, can you take criticism? Can you take it without, not without it hurting your feelings necessarily, because people get their feelings hurt by stuff like that, but can you do it without it putting you in a bad headspace? If you can do it without it putting you in a bad headspace, then go for it. <clears throat> I think some comments from, like, throughout the stream is... Filtering Love down at the you, bottom, Michelle. Like it's I know, a lot I see. of stuff that's was conversations. Like, well, I mean, maybe Whoa. that's me. Why are you doing that? I didn't do it on purpose. Hey, what's up? hey, there. Sorry about that. 
Yeah, we're just staring at the screen. <laughs> well, I was reading that that was a big one. Um, uh, let's see. They said, hey to Cammy. <laughs> He's watching Spider Man. Shane giving us whiplash. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It was my fabulous legs. Just you're, you're, Listen, <laughs> your YouTube channel cannot fail. It can't fail. There's no such thing unless you just don't want to do it anymore. And then in, then in itself, it didn't <clears throat> fail. You just decide not to do it anymore. There's no such thing as a failed channel. No such thing. You just keep trying and you keep doing it. And I have friends who, I mean, they have been getting 50 views per video. And they have been doing it for eight years. And they still just get 50 views. And they love every minute of it. So, you, your channel literally can't fail. It can only fail if you compare it to other channels. And that is something I want you to never do if you do YouTube. Don't ever, ever, ever compare yourself to another channel. Because you guys are not the same. There's Your personality is different. Your, your home is different. There are tons. When I first started, the mobile home community was not big at all. And then a bunch of people started coming into the mobile home community. And there were, there was such a diversity between us all. And people would think that, you know, you would see them as competitors and stuff like that. No, like, you, you bring something that they can't bring to the table. You root them on and you go your own way and do your own thing. And that's how you stay happy being a YouTuber. You, can't, you, you won't be happy being a YouTuber if you compare yourself and your numbers and, and your content to other people's. Because you're different and you bring something special to the table. And people are going to love you. They're not going to... Nine times out of ten, people aren't going to compare you to anybody else. It's just you doing the comparing yourself. So I always tell people, if I'm in a, if I'm in a competition with somebody else, it's one-sided. Because you're not getting competition from me. I'm going to be your loudest cheerleader. Right on. I'm going to be like, yes, you go do that thing. Please pray for me. Absolutely, Sarah. Sarah we will. Let's see. Oh, it's going so fast. But maybe I, I choose our movie. Yeah, we'll cook together. We'll do, I'll make that into a series if y'all want me to. I thought that was fun. I thought about doing that when I first did. What is that? What are you doing? Uh, I thought part? we'd make that into a series. Like, um, maybe do like pantry challenge at the end of the week because I'm constantly. Oh, our cooking show? Stuff. Yeah, you want to do that? Like weekend vlog slash pantry challenge? Yeah, what do y'all think about it. that? What y'all think about that? With Chef Shane Ramsey? Yeah, you, I mean, Easter, Christmas, you can go down that whole rabbit hole if you want to. I choose to focus on other things. Um, but I, it is important. I, I get what you're saying 100%. <clears throat> and I commend you for sticking to your convictions. I think that's what everybody needs to do. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> My nieces and nephews use a free ebook called My Books of the Bible Story or Book. Oh. Yes, we got to do a I porch makeover. Our porch still has a Christmas tree on it. <laughs> well, to be fair, uh -uh. it's an evergreen. Nanny's doing good. It is an evergreen, but it has ornaments on it. To be fair, those aren't <laughs> ornaments. Those are sunspots to <laughs> celebrate spring. <clears throat> Gordon Ramsay. Do you like Gordon Ramsay? They love Gordon Ramsay. They'll love Shane Ramsay, too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, uh, I named my cooking knife Ramsey. <laughs> if I could witness one of Jesus' miracles. Ooh. Maybe. You know, I gotta say it. Just because I would want to hear the reactions of the people, Lazarus, straight up. I was about to say, I was about to say. Because you know, like, people's mouths had to, like, just drop down to the floor, like, I was what? about to say, yeah. <clears throat> that, that'd be pretty cool. I hope I do. <laughs> I hope I do. <clears throat> yeah, healing the blind. Yeah. They still have their Christmas tree still up. But they decorate it with Easter and spring stuff. Don't your mom do that? Your mom yeah, does that. Yeah, she does that sometimes. Your mom does that. She decorates it. Um, well, like, Anna's out of timeout. Man, Anna, come on now. Can I, I can put her in timeout again. Okay. I ain't going to block you. I feel bad blocking you. I'm just going to put you in timeout. Can you still see me when you're in timeout? I won't know because I can't see your comments. Let's see. Um, 
Shane said something. Uh, the cooking show called. It's going so fast. I'm trying. Yeah, I can't wait for the chosen to get to the Lazarus scene. That's gonna be neat. They're shooting the uh, scene of walking on the water. I will which bless is be it. Cool. <clears throat> bless it. <laughs> I like your name. Bless it. <clears throat> you know, I um, love your yellow nails. They're L.A. colors from either Dollar Tree or the Dollar General. I'm pretty sure it's Dollar Tree. I will. It is, I hate doing it though, man. It is finished. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate doing it so bad. <sighs> maybe this time, maybe she'll come back a different person. Jesus. Please don't make me bother somebody. Don't, don't worry. We will watch season three soon. <coughs> I'm excited to watch it. We just haven't really been able to get to it yet. They don't have it on, they have like seasons one and two on Peacock. But it's they don't okay, have guys. I'll three. take care of it next time. I promise. <clears throat> I just hate doing it. I don't like doing it. But if it's bothering y'all, I don't. I don't like for it to bother y'all. Um. Love and life. Okay, one one, you got can't it. take my joy. Listen, you cannot take my joy. The only person that can take my joy is Jesus Christ, because He gave it to me. You can't take my joy if you didn't give it to me. And I ain't handing it over to nobody. Nobody. Let's see. Um, I think it's on YouTube free. See, I know they have a chosen app, but the last time we tried to download it onto the TV, they didn't have it on the TV. You had to like download it on your phone and then you had to um, basically connect your phone to the TV and watch it that way. What do y'all want to be a, a moderator? Oh. You can be a moderator. Angel app. Oh, wait, I see one that says, I think your comments are rolling fast because you haven't answered my question, but what app do you use for the... Oh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. it <laughs> no. keeps moving. Oh, okay, for the Bible on your phone. Uh, the Bible app, it, uh, is that what it's called? It's just, yeah. It shows the Bible and it has the Bible app. And then I have my um, regular Bible. I have a New King James, a King James. I have all sorts of different ones. I read Enoch um, on... E or Kindle, Libby. yeah, Kindle or Unlimited. Kindle. Kindle Unlimited. Nobody gets me down. Nobody. Um, okay, here's Shay. Hold on. Wait, what? I see Shay. Shane. Shay. Shay. Wait, let's see here. Can I do something? Add as a moderator. Okay. Um, has blood words in hand. I think it's standard. Does that work? There it is. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Um, Fox thank Nation you, Shay. That was really nice of you. Um, so they've got it on a lot of different things now. Let's see here. Lisa. That's really nice of you guys. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Do any of my kids want to go to college? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Colin wants to be a chef. Chef, yeah. Jolie wants to be... Jolie, well, Jolie wants to be an astronaut, uh -huh. a chef, uh -huh. and what was the third one? I can't remember. Jason wants to be a doctor. Jason wants to be a doctor. Yeah. Jason wants to be a mama and a doctor. Yeah. <clears throat> I made you one, too, Melinda. <clears throat> Made you one too, Kathy. Okay, I think that should be good. Um, I hate, see, my problem with that is I don't like to block anybody. You, you added four, so from this day forward, they shall be the four horsemen of the mod apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> the four horsemen of the mod apocalypse. <laughs> no! <laughs> this is why she edits me this is why out. I edit. Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. Haley's questions about autism. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, Once it pops back it up. Um, where are you at, Haley? Yeah, well, well, shoot. I should have said yes right away. Where is she at, Melissa? 
I can I can answer them as best as I can. I don't know a whole lot. Um, I mean, you know, we're all learning. We're all learning. I get a lot of a lot of good therapists have taught me a lot of things. I could not have made it without the therapist giving me their insight. They're geniuses. <clears throat> Did you ever find an egg to fill your bin? No, when it drove me Oh, the nuts. one missing one? Yes. Oh. <laughs> it drove me nuts. I still think about it. I still think about it. Hey, Sandy, I still think about it. Like, every time I get, I can't even, I can't even get the fridge without thinking about it. <clears throat> Here's one egg. There you go. They gave you one. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I can't. <laughs> um, oh. My autistic daughter is almost 23. She loves Fairfully Craig. <laughs> I love her. Oh, my gosh. I love that. I love that. Preschool school teacher oh. here. I absolutely love the kids with autism. They're really something. Let me tell you, Cammie is a genius. He is literally a genius. I'm yeah. not going to say that because he's my kid. Like, he is literally a genius. Oh, my gosh. That kid can figure out so much so easily that it blows my mind. <laughs> uh, he's got a little tablet, and he loves watching little cartoons on his tablet. And he was looking everywhere on this tablet to watch Bluey. Uh, he wanted to watch Bluey, and there was no Bluey whatsoever on any app or anything. So what does he do? He goes up <laughs> to the TV. <laughs> he goes up to the TV. He records Bluey, and he watches full episodes of Bluey through uh, recordings that he does. Smart as all get out. Man, she is like a go-getter. That's admirable. Yeah. That's one good thing I could. I did. I did. But she is very admirable. I mean, all that energy I mean. can go to something. Maybe just something else. <laughs> Mm -mm. I mean, you gotta respect somebody who just won't give up. I'm just saying. Two weeks is on. Wait, not in a million years. I'm like, Wait, what? Hannah trying to get fresh. What? Huh? <laughs> what? I can't with these people. <laughs> Might be restraining over time. I, why y'all think I have my mail monitor? Modpocalypse, they got it. The I, four horsemen of the modpocalypse. Mail monitored. Haley just asked about therapy. Therapy. Mm. Um, there's occupational therapy. I don't know if your child does therapy, but occupational therapy, speech therapy, those are the two life saving therapies. Those are the two. Without going into detail, because I don't share <clears throat> my kids' medical information. How can I touch that? Um, like what avenue are you wanting to go with it? Uh, f find good good <laughs> occupational therapists and speech therapists that... Uh, it's important to find one yeah, that you trust, obviously. And then it's important to find ones that... You're comfortable with and that the child the is child comfortable with. The child is comfortable with, with. Yeah. yeah. That's me. I try not to go into my kids' yeah. medical stuff too much. Um, Tyler! Hey, Tyler! What you doing? <laughs> do I miss my brown hair? Uh, no. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I miss how it looked when it was brown because it was really healthy. And then, but you I guys really want to know like, a nickname when she's like this? This is Mariana Blonde. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. You guys called me Blonde. Mariana Blonde the other day. Somebody commented that on the video. They were like, what you doing, Mariana Grande? And I was like, I am Mariana Blonde going the to princess. get shame. <laughs> Mariana Blonde. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Like great blonde. Yeah, I I won't be going back she to, good in every to brown anytime soon. I may one day. I every time you all ever do this, but I, I picture myself in my casket and I picture brown hair. <laughs> Wait a 
bring down the moon. I would. To be I'm, absent from the body, to be present of the Lord. The That's not a touchy of the subject. Apocalypse. Quiet you down for a minute. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. I'll put you in the corner now. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Baby's about to go in the corner. Do you think we're in the end times? <laughs> it's, it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Woo! personally, I do. A lot of people feel differently about that. Personally, I do. There's some strong Take indicators. Take that with a grain we'll of salt, that. though. Take that. I mean, go keep an eye on Euphrates River always. Um, I, I'm constantly watching. The, here I go. <laughs> I'm constantly watching the Euphrates River. Gog and Magog. Um, I'm constantly watching Ezekiel and paying attention to to what's going on around the world. Israel always got my eyes on Israel. Um, but you know. There for a while, it was like every time you look out the window, you're like, "So which chapter in Revelations today?" <laughs> I don't know. I do, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't. But you, you know, <clears throat> it, it's up for the debate. But it's drying up. You know, and it's prophesied it would dry up. It Jesus, dry up completely. You know, Jesus does say that the days leading up to the end of it's days not dried up has a bunch yet. of stuff going in it too. So. Mm -mm. Signs of the time. I love you, Jace. You wanna... Oh, that was. Laughing my butt off. Uh, yeah, I don't see my news comes from TikTok. <laughs> I don't even watch the new news or anything like that. Um, I just I can't. What? <laughs> I take TikTok with a grain of salt too. Yeah. Um, I I really stay unaware of what's going on around the world. Um, and just kind of pop in every now and then, you know. You gotta, you gotta be careful about how much you intake because it's a lot. It's, it, it would make even the sanest person be like, oh. There's some days when you just have to disconnect from any news and just trust Jesus. Ace Paces. We use Ace Paces. It's the curriculum I graduated from, Shane graduated. Well, I sort of graduated from, Shane graduated from. <clears throat> Good night. I just saw him calling it a night. Good night. I love you. Good night. Uh -uh. Do we play cut. instruments? No. I, I wish love, so hard. I would love. When Shane turned 30, he had this big thing where he wanted to learn how to play the guitar. Yeah. Whatever happened to that? You didn't. I think it was a midlife crisis. What are you doing? Stop. <laughs> this is mine. We play music. Amen to that. Thank mm -mm. you. My mom, my mom said when you can't tell the difference in the... In the... Uh, seasons, seasons is the end, end of time. My papa always said the end of the world would happen when milk got to be five dollars a jug. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I listen. I wanted to learn how to play the drums so much, but the only instrument I can really play is the cymbals, and I can't even play those. <laughs> <little bit. laughs> like, oh, you get me in a Pentecostal church, I'm like, no, no, no. Some people they have to fight to keep up with me. Uh. <laughs> I just always think of like that one person like in band or something that they stand there and they have to stand there through the entire set until it gets to the very end and <laughs> like I'm dumb all the time and I easily get upset. You are not dumb. Nope. And anybody who makes you feel like you are is just not a good person. That does not reflect on you at all. That reflects on them. What people say to you has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them. People call me dumb all the time. I don't even know if I'm autistic. They call me autistic. <laughs> I, it's, it's nothing to do with me. It doesn't matter if what if I am, if I'm dumb, if I'm not. It doesn't matter because that doesn't reflect on me. What am I? What are you? Are you a kind person? You got to see it this way is that Jesus took the time to create you, and he definitely doesn't see you as dumb. Jesus don't and those don't. are the eyes of, like that. You hear the term eyes of the beholder. That is the true term right there, eyes of the beholder. You just look at it through his eyes. That's all you got to do. And he he looks what at you. What is that Taylor with, Swift song? People throw rocks at things that shine and uh, makes love work hard. What's it with you and, and, and Swift and not? People throw rocks at things that shine. Yeah, you must be shining really, really bright. Who, me? No, them. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> my guilty pleasure is food. What is my guilty pleasure? 
not just food, like in big increments, bad food for you, like greasy food. Man. Dumplings. I'm Dumplings are my guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure is. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. That means the world to me. <clears throat> Y'all help me all the time. Alyssa, just, uh, they, uh, really people should listen when their mama tells them, if they ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Mm -hmm. But you hold your head up high and you go to work like you know that you're the stuff because you are the stuff. I think you're stuff. Yeah. Tell them that Fearfully Creative on YouTube thinks that you're stuff. And awesomely creative. Yeah, tell them that we think that you're stuff. Be like, I got best friends on YouTube. Did you know that? <sighs> they think I'm awesome. They don't think I'm dumb at all. They think I'm quite smart. Fried chicken legs are so good. Shorter but I'm not guilty to eat them. I got, I got. <laughs> so it's not a guilty pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I got to trim my hair up. Really, Shane, I got to trim my hair. I have to. <laughs> I love your hair. I have to trim it. They want to see it really short. I love your hair. <laughs> you leave it alone. Leave Brittany alone. Pop stickers. Oh, goodness gracious. What did I do? I receive the Holy Ghost. I speak in tongues to you. I pray in tongues, yeah. That's another thing that you tell people, and they're like, oh! What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Um, can I not super chat? No, I have, remember, were you here last time when I told you that I was going to um, turn them off? Because I didn't know that they were on, so I turned them off, and I, I didn't turn back on because I hadn't talked to you guys about it yet. I'll do a poll on my community tab, maybe, and we'll talk about it. Somebody said my guilty pleasure is titers. I ain't guilty of that either. <laughs> <laughs> um... What was I saying? What was I saying? I was smack dab in the middle of a conversation. I totally somewhere. knocked it out, didn't I? Yeah. I'm so sorry. That's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> Dang it! Somebody called you the goat. What does that mean? Greatest of all time. <laughs> That's why she's me. the goat. The goat. Super sh chats for the shed. The pole. I never want to trim my hair either, but I have learned that if you if you don't, get it gets worse. Yeah, left. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does. The split ends will like go up the the what do they call it the shaft of the hair. Like the split ends will like split all the way up. Mm -hmm. I was watching a bunch of uh, TikTok beautician ladies, cosmetologists, beauticians. I don't even know what to call them. Um, Cause I remember somebody telling me one time something beautician was a it was a beautician or cosmetologist that was offensive to some cosmetologist beauticians. What? Yeah, that they prefer to be called something else, and I and I forgot what one you it totally was. Totally Jack Sparrowed that entire sentence because I'm just sitting here like what? Mm, um, can, can I, I see, see you, me? Carolyn? Hello. What you doing, Carolyn? I know exactly who you are. I saw your picture. What is Super Chat? Super Chat is where um, people send money, but, like, it's usually attached to, like, a comment. So, like, YouTube has it to where if you want your comment to stay at the top yeah. or highlighted or something that you Other channels, pay stuff. It's basically a guarantee of getting your <clears throat> comment read a lot of times. Yeah, like, in bigger channels, they do yeah. that. Um, it's kind of like the stuff over on Instagram. Instagram has that, too. I don't have mine turned over on Instagram. Hashtag... Now, Tater Nation. I don't think I do anyway. Um, eh, you should do super chats for your love on two feet ministry. I've thought about that, but I would want a way to like prove that that money was going there. Um, and I don't know how I would do that. I don't know how I would prove that that money would go to that you know what i'm saying i know you guys want to ask for for proof but i would want to have proof um who do i watch jamarell oh on youtube i watch jamarell um jamarell's large family table i think or just might be jamarell stewart now she's changed it a few times she 
it was like a mama to me whenever I didn't have YouTube because like I didn't know nothing and what I did know, what little I did know came from her. Like she taught me a lot of stuff. That's why I care so much about her. And we actually have become friends <clears throat> and we actually talk. And I literally did a segment on her paid for website. So she has a website that people subscribe to and she had me do a video for that. And that was one of the biggest honors that I've ever had, like ever, because I considered that Jay Morell is top tier to me for homemaking. So when she wanted me to be on her website, I was kind of like, huh? Because <laughs> I went from somebody that was in her comments and much like a lot of you guys, I did, I wasn't seen in her comments a lot. So I went from that to being on her website. That's wild to me. <coughs> I noticed YouTube told me that a bunch of y'all watch our tribe of many. YouTube will tell me what other channels that a majority of you guys watch. A lot of you guys watch Our Tribe of Manny. A lot of you guys watch Kim from the Wads, which I love Kim. I just talked to her earlier. And then, um, Jim Morrell. I watch Gypsy XO. Um, I watch her. I talk to her a little bit, but I don't talk to her a whole lot. I just like to watch her videos. Um, they're really motivating. Her house is what mine aspires to be, like, as far as clean-wise. They're very, very clean. She's a very clean person. Yeah, Solo, I like, I've watched Dorset. Our Tribe of Manny. Dorset, Dorset, yes. I keep, always forget Erica. Yes, um, I always watch Erica. I usually watch every ep episode from Erica, every single one. Um, I, very rarely do I miss one, and then I usually catch up on it. <clears throat> Everybody, yeah, Jamie, Jamie's Journey, a bunch of uh, people watch that, that watch my channel too. Um, Bible study, the Bible study will probably be on the podcast. We'll, we'll do, definitely do, um... The Bible study on there. Like, a sort of Bible study. Like, I, I don't know if I want to call it Bible study. Maybe just, like, a Bible chat. Because I, I don't want it to be, like, one of those things where you guys come to me to get knowledge. I just want y'all to pick my brain. Like, I wanted y'all to tonight. You don't want it to be preachy. Yeah, I don't want to be teaching y'all anything. Learn with us. I want you to learn with me. Like I always say, if I don't know the answer, we'll find it together. Whatever. <clears throat> Wait, what? I'm pregnant with my fifth and my last baby I had unexpectedly all by myself in the bathroom. What? That on Christmas Day? No, that's a Christmas present. That, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> uh that's like on that I didn't know I was pregnant show. I used to watch that all the time. I just saw Loss? No, it's live. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, no, you got lost. I was about to start Googling ways that you can get rid of it. <laughs> Do you watch any cooking shows? I watch this one guy on TikTok. I can't remember his name. He just comes up on my For You page a lot, and he does a lot of really cool recipes. I watched that. Um, I can't think of his name, but he's, he's a cowboy cook. He's an older fella. He's got a mustache, and he shows how to cook cowboy dishes. And he cooks like some good looking stuff. He was you the one. Eat that, a cowboy dish, huh? You know, no, like no, dish. like he shows how to kind of put like a cowboy like uh, spin on things. The first video I watched was he showed how to make like a legit Big Mac. Like he showed how to make the sauce and everything. You know that's on the meal plan for this week. Is it really? Yeah. I'm down. Yeah, it's gonna be I good. think I'm thinking about doing it on a video with them. Yeah, what y'all think about Big yeah, Mac? I like video? him. He's cool. <clears throat> Ken Rollins. Ken Rollins. Okay. That's him. Thoughts on modern day prophets? Oh, y'all. Don't ask me. See, I don't, even when people ask me about preachers that I don't necessarily listen to, I will never say anything against a man of God in fear that he is a man of God. <laughs> you know, you like. King David that. Do my prophets no harm kind of thing. Um, I'm very careful about what I say. But I do believe in, in prophecy that it's used today. I do believe a lot of people benefit from prophecy and they bank off of it these days and they take advantage of it. Um, but as far as like the gifts being used in today, I do believe that the gifts are used in today. Um, I've had prophetic dreams before and God has told me to call somebody and tell somebody something and lo and behold, if it wasn't exactly what was going on, I literally had a crazy experience one time where i caught somebody there on the side of the road and it was wild and kim that clement. was yeah we know kim, we've watched kim clement a lot um but yeah i believe that prophecy is a thing for today but 
like so many other things of God, people pervert the heck out of it. They really do. You just got to be on guard. Do you believe you know? in karma? Not karma. Um, I believe you get what you give. So, I mean, I believe that you get what you, you reap what you sow. That's like you biblical terms. We don't believe <laughs> karma in, as far as like a like a spiritual karma. Well, I mean, type. whatever karma is, I don't really know. Because I don't know the definition of it. But I do know, I believe, biblically, you do reap what you sow. Yeah, that's where I was about to go with. <clears throat> At the end of the day. You Fate and destiny? Yourself. See, y'all are asking me very. Is this what y'all wanted to pick my brain about? <laughs> um, pe- destiny? I think God has plans for you. I think it's but ordained. It's, but it's up to you. You got free will. With your free will to accept what he has planned out for you or go your path. You can go your yeah. own way. But you'll see if you take his path. Go your own way. There's so much more. Yeah, I love Carrie. You can go your own way, your loving way. How's that song? You can go your own way. I know what's going on. I, I, ne- I can never remember the lyrics to that song. Go your own way. Um, that's, see, I, I don't know the definition. Like, I believe things are ordained of God, and I believe you have free will. Um, I think, ain't it Calvinists that believe that everything is... Preordained? Preordained. Is that Calvinists? <clears throat> I would have to look because I, I don't yeah, want to say know. yeah and then I'm wrong. <clears throat> uh oh. Uh oh. Meltdown. Oh. I'm coming. I just don't get up the way I used to. Oh, my feet are asleep. <clears throat> Y'all, my voice is going out. I don't know how long we've been live, but we might want to wrap it up. Wait. We love Ace Paces. Ace Paces, we like them. They are a little bit outdated. Um, but Shane graduated from them, and Shane's one of the smartest people I know. So, I mean, they're good for something. I <laughs> see here. I was my eye traveling, y'all. What platform do you listen to your music on? <clears throat> I usually listen to it on YouTube. I don't pay for, like, Spotify or anything. I don't even pay for YouTube. It used to be YouTube Red. Is it still called YouTube Red? I don't pay for any of that. I just usually listen to it on YouTube, and I get frustrated because when I click out of it, it doesn't continue, and YouTube's like, if you want to start a free trial, I'm like, man, I'll work for you. <laughs> what do you mean do I want to start a free trial? <laughs> So I usually just um, listen to it. Love you, Michelle. I usually just listen to stuff on YouTube. Um, that's what I usually do. Um, I like, right now I've been on like a Brandon Lake playlist. I've been listening to a lot of his stuff. Hey, Cooper. How you doing, Cooper? You're awesome, Cooper. Big fan. Hey, from Cleveland. Mm-mm. Okay. You, j- I just heard something crack. It was me. Hey, Lisa. Uh, man. Yeah, I'm sorry, Paul. I'm still alive. <laughs> what? I'm still alive. They're like, are you still alive? Um, it's going so fast. It is going so fast. I'm trying to. Not Susie. I'm about to get off here myself. Wait, what was that? What was that? Hey, Gabriella. How did you guys meet? Shane, you want to tell me how we meet while I'm going through here? On good old MySpace. Walmart. Got my glasses from Walmart. On good old MySpace. Is that all you're going to say? You're going to go into detail or nothing? <laughs> oh, am I going into detail? <laughs> yeah. She stalked me. I did not. Stop telling people that. You stopped. People are going to believe that. She was like, oh, that's a hey, pretty Kathy. thing right there. Mm. Shane to dag on Grandpa talking about my space. So back in my day, we had my space. Oh, 
Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh oh. Wait, I'm so confused. What are you looking for? Somebody, some, something, somebody tell me to look for. Oh. Good, bad, informative. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm oh, going to. Paris, thank you. I like the other ones too a lot. I. Yeah, direct messages. I'm going. Anything else y'all want to know before I hop off here? Because I'm going to spend some time with my kiddos. It's probably about bedtime. Oh. <laughs> Can I get a shout out, please? Somebody was asking I know. I'm looking for it. I saw it. Uh, I saw right it. There, right there. Right there. Go down. Where? I saw it. Right there. Right there. Go up. Where? Right there. <laughs> Jacqueline. <laughs> hey, Jacqueline. <clears throat> okay. Y'all. Good night. Salutations. What's your favorite I'll be form Sayonara. of tater? What's your favorite form of tater? Mine? Mine is mashed. Fried. Out of all the taters. Fried. Straight up. Mine's mashed. And I ain't guilty either. Um. Okay, they're going, they're going by so fast. I hate to turn it off whenever y'all are... Whenever well, y'all are uh, talking, like, I don't want to just, like, be like, okay, bye, and then, you know. So, we'll slowly edge out. We'll, we'll slowly. We'll slowly. I'll start doing this. <clears throat> Good night, everybody. All right. Love you. It's been so much fun. Love you. Goodbye. Carolyn, love you. Goodbye. I'm edging Do out. Do we plan on doing some camping this year? Yes. I'm edging out. I'm um, completely edging out. Christy. Lori, I'm not mad at you, huh? Hey. Who's it? Alright. Age, I'm 31. Alright, I love you guys. We've been on here so long. I'm tired. I lost my voice. I'm starting to like wind down. <laughs> I'm starting to wind down. I love you guys. <laughs> Wait, we want to end it how I usually end my videos? Yeah, you got to. Always. Alright, and go. Have a good evening. Okay. Thank y'all for watching. Thank I you. I hope y'all have a blessed evening. Morning, evening, night, whatever evening. it is, wherever you're at. No, I love you, but Jesus loves you more. <laughs> but you didn't let me do my evening part. I'll see y'all later. Love you. Bye. They're saying don't. They're saying don't. In the big woods, don't do that to me. I'm trying They're to saying edge don't. Out. I'm trying to edge out. Please. All right, I love you. All right, love you. You guys gotta go do first. A meet and greet. <laughs> if we don't call it that, yeah, I will. We'll we'll talk about it. Like, just hanging out with friends, maybe? Yeah. All right. I love you guys. Love you. Y'all want to leave first? Y'all leave first. I don't, I don't like leaving y'all. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.